Good evening and welcome to a steamy Donnell Stadium here at Finley High School, where tonight WSM brings you a matchup of a pair of rivals from a long time back. The Lima Senior Spartans are here to play the Finley Trojans. Our pregame today is brought to you by State Bank. For all your banking and financial service needs, visit yourstatebank.com, a member of FDIC, an equal housing lender. Mark Schein, Jerry Snodgrass. Jerry, as a coach and athletic director, you have been a part of the Findlay Lima senior rivalry for a long time. It's a big deal. Yes, it is. You know, in all sports, obviously. But, you know, at the same time, it's been big in football. It's been heated at times. But, you know, you know it's healthy, and especially this time of the year. The state database says that Finley has won 19 of these games. Lima senior 11. Jerry, you've got some keys to the game. How about take care of the Spartans first? Well, first of all, for Lima senior, you know, they've got to take care of the ball. And I know we say that a lot about a lot of teams, but they really do. And by taking care of the ball, sustain their drives. Defensively, they really, because of the pressure of Finley uh, on the offensive end, need to recognize different formations, align properly, and stay to the game plan that they've worked on all week. Thirdly, they need to prevent big plays, and Finley's a big play team. Last week really showed that against Toledo Central Catholic. And lastly, and I think, again, this is key, a big key for them, is to stay focused. If they do give up a big play, just stay focused on the game plan. Lyman Senior defeated Piqua 35-20 last week. Finley uh, lost to Toledo Central Catholic 54-21, and more importantly, perhaps, than that lost their quarterback, Ryan Montgomery, due to a knee injury. Uh, how about keys to the game for the Trojans tonight? Well, you know, a lot of uncertainty going, to this, in, going into this game, without a doubt, but ironically, they need to stay focused. I think they're young enough that, you know, sometimes, you know, let's try to get rich quick or something like that. No, stay focused. Two, they need to wrap their arms and tackle. That's something that really hurt them last week against Central Catholic. They need to score in the red zone, number three. And fourthly, I, this was more my key after watching them. They really need to prevent the big play. They need to stay focused to do that. Lima Senior and Finley. Finley has won the last six meetings between these two conferences. It's been since 2017 when Lima Senior won a football game with the Finley Trojans. That's our pregame show brought to you today by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, a member of FDIC, equal housing lender. We have the opening kickoff coming up after this. You're watching High School Football, WOSN. Welcome back to Donnell Stadium. Tonight, our scoreboard is brought to you by Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Mark Schein, Jerry Snodgrass here. Jerry, you saw the game last week with Toledo Central Catholic. Ryan Montgomery went down with a knee injury, but the sophomore quarterback, Riley Corka, stepped in and did a pretty good job. Yes, he did. You know, and they're pretty young in their skilled positions, for the most part, running back. Uh, but, boy, he came in and... You know, really didn't miss a beat. You know, if you would have told me that he was only a sophomore, I, I wouldn't have believed that. And especially playing behind Ryan Montgomery. And, you know, it's interesting because one of the things Ryan Montgomery has said, now that he's out, he's going to do all he can to coach. And by that, you know, no, he's not on the payroll, but sure. he's going to help a young player. And I think that's when you're playing behind somebody like that, you know, what a, what a good deal. Uh, Corcus last week was 12 of 18, 167 yards, a pair of touchdowns against a team that's won 32 consecutive yes. football games in Toledo Central Catholic. He did fumble once. He got sacked three times when he held the ball perhaps a little bit long, like a young quarterback might. They're going to get the football first tonight against a, a Lima senior team that gave up 20 points last week to pick one. And, and that's the thing. I think Finley, through the years, you know, you look back even before Coach Stephan Adams, but they've been very, very explosive on offense. I, I, sometimes I think that's just a Finley thing, you know. I yeah. think it goes back to the Cliff Height thing when, you know, he was running shotguns when nobody was running them at the time. Now, conversely to that, you got a guy that coached under Mike Mock at Kenton, too. So, yes. you know, they understand that and know how to defend it. Stephen Adams in his fifth year here at Finley, and just to go to your, your, your reckoning, they have defeated Lima Senior 53 to nothing and 32 to nothing the last two years. They're putting points more, and not just against Lima Senior, but against a lot of teams lately. Correct. Yeah, that's the thing. They're they're high power. Um, they love that explosiveness, and you know that's why you know I, I, we have to face a fact. I think that fans like. Yep. And that's why they've had so much support. Our first quarter sponsor today is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years, and we are proud to call this home. 
The running back is Griffin Lane. Griffin acquired himself pretty well last week at 67 yards and a score. So, uh, uh, what is he, a junior? So his first start, I think, last year, but uh, good for him. You know, I have to really admit, this is really tough seeing him last week. You're right. He was tough. Yeah. He was my neighbor. <laughs> and they moved away a year or two ago. His dad played ball for me. But at the same time, I'm like, how can that kid be old enough to play? But you know what? He was a tough kid and a tough runner. So deep for Finley will be number one. That is Jacob Raglan. Had a TD catch last week, and he's not very far, Jerry. He's only on the 25-yard line, not expecting a very deep kick. It's 94 degrees. The the heat factor is 99 on my phone right now, and that's a little pop-up kick right there from Coach Lawrence. Yes, and you mentioned Jacob Raglan, who was back for that and did not receive it, of course, but... Uh, at the same time, he's one of the few returning uh, at the wide receiver position. Had a good game last week. So they will get the football to start on their 37. Finley won the toss and elected to take the ball. And, Jerry, we're seeing more and more of that now in high school football. Yes, we, well, you know, we were talking a little bit before this, you know, before the, uh, this during the week about analytics. Mm. And, oh, my gosh, I could spend an hour talking about analytics and, you know, what people do with them today. But, yeah, you're right, more and more are doing that. Righty Corcus wears number 14, puts a man in motion. That would be Sean Hines, and he will hand off to Hines. Hines up the middle, and he will get about four to the 31-yard line. He ran that set last week, ran a bubble screen. A little bubble screen last week got them a touchdown and about a, I think about a 65-yard gain that got called back, but was a very dangerous play for them. Of course, the good thing about this, it is not an east-west field, so the sun's not in anybody's eyes particularly right now, although a little bit of problem for the players trying to get called from the sideline. Here's Corcus again. He will hand off, and that time it goes nowhere. Lost a yard back to the 40, perhaps. We know that uh, uh, Trojans do have a pretty strong returning offensive line. You know, Wilkie, I love to brag about those hogs, you know, on the internal line, but Baylor Wilking, Giovanni Ambrister, Brody Smith, Ben Mueller, Zach Searles, all have experience from a year ago. Third and about seven. As you see, Corcus looks to the sideline for the play call with a young man I know very well, a young man named Matt Best. Yes. Played basketball for me at Bath High School and was a wonderful quarterback as well as a wonderful athlete all the way around. And you know what? I had an experience with him and a wonderful kid. Plenty of time for Corcus. Throws it over the middle, and it's caught through the defender's arms. Off to the races goes Griffin Lane, and Griffin Lane will light it up. A 60-yard touchdown pass. Well, you know, I talked about the big play, you know, on both sides of the field. You know, the Trojans have to come up with them, and they're dangerous that way. Lima Senior has to stop them. Well, if you notice, the defensive back flashed in front of it, thought he had a chance to knock it down, was unable to, and Finley is on the board first with just three plays to score from their own 40-yard line. And unfortunately, we have an interior defensive lineman that's down. We do. And while we deal with alignment, we're going to take a timeout. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Okay, we're back at Finley Donnell Stadium. We've had some technical difficulties to complete his pass that will go to number five, and that is Keon Smith. The Spartans picked up a first down after the PAT opportunity was scored by Finley. And they started on their own nine because of a penalty. That's the second play that they run in this particular drive, and they've gotten the ball to the 33-yard line. To catch you up, the injured player was uh, Curtis Pollard, a senior, six foot three oh five, and he had a lower body injury. That didn't look good. No, and he was down on the field for quite a while, so I, I believe he's going to be doubtful to return. Second and eight, Spartans. Here's a handoff. This is Wilson. Luke Wilson will get up over the 40, close to a first down. And he lost his hat. Jerry, he's going to have to take a seat for a moment. Yes, and you know, so far, I mean, you know, give Lima Senior credit in these couple of plays here, but, you know, discipline, staying focused, and I think that's something that they said they needed to do. Well, I was just about to say, Finley scores on play three. Yeah. Spartans have a penalty on the opening kickoff, so it didn't really start the way they wanted it to, but they've rallied a little bit. Now they're looking at the third and one here from their own 40. Yep. That was one of the keys to the game for them to sustain drives. Amontre Davis, a freshman, is now in the backfield along with Janias Hall. Third and one. 
This is Hall, rolls, throws, catch, first down. Fighting for more yardage over there is Vontae Watkins Daniel, and the ball's loose. Now he had a first down. Did Jerry, are they going to mark yeah, it back up Yeah, that's what I here? wonder. I, it, uh, one official is, he's marking it there. Our first down yep. sponsor today is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. And to get caught up, our touchdown sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. That is a first down. Well, you know, I, I give that that tells a lot about Coach Bill Lawrence and the confidence he has in his players. Denias Wilson throws in that on a third and one and puts a nice pass, nice catch. Hall will run with the football this time. Good yardage for him, up close to another first down on a run by Janias Hall. And we have a flag down, yes, looks do. like holding. It is certainly in that general area, and it will be a hole. Give you some numbers from a week ago. Hall was 26, uh, 40, throwing the football last week, 311 yards and four touchdowns. He also ran it 10 times for 70 yards. And just a junior having a good season already for the Spartans back to their 35-yard line on the penalty. Still be first down. Well, you talked about his running ability, you know, the fact that he does run the ball. He is dangerous that way. He's already shown that. Spartans will send four wide receivers to the right of Hall, one to the left. There's Hall to throw. Quick pass out. And is it caught? It is not. Dropped on the far sideline by Wilson. Just a bit out of his grasp. And we'll go to second and 20 from the 35. You know, Finley defensively, you know, gave up a lot of points last week. And one of the main things, and I think that was a, that was a key by Coach Stephen Adams, too, was, you know, to wrap the arms, you know, tackle people. I saw a lot of arm tackles last week. And, you know, that's, you know, coaches talk about that all the time. You know, they don't just go down on their own. Three receivers to the left, two to the right for Hall. Three-man rush. And here they come. A little bubble screen set up. This is a catch. Wilson back to the original first down marker and then a couple more past that to about the 42, 43 yard line. So it gives him a more manageable third down now. I like, Good, I, like, I like this line of senior team. Yeah. I really like what they're doing. Pickup of 12, it's third and eight. Finley showing blitz. Did it come offside? They did not. Hall looks to the sideline. Play clock is at eight. He's going to change it. Just in time, they get it off. Hall, snap throw out, and he throws it over the head of his intended receiver on the far side of the field, Kalik Walsh. And that will fall incomplete. Sets up a Spartan fourth down from their own 47-yard line. And if he'd had a little bit more time, of course, that was designated, I think, to go there. But, you know, at the marker, at the first down marker. But, boy, he had a receiver open deep, too. Well, I'm a senior punted just once last week against Pickwood. That is not in their DNA, Jerry. Hall pointed, punted for 49 yards on their only punt opportunity. And in a shotgun position, he might well pull that trick again. Or they may well go for it here. Yeah, we were talking about, you know, the number of times that they kind of defy the odds on many of the things they do. Here's Hall. He will punt. Lifts it up in the air and heads for this far side. Line's going to kick out of bounds, and it will be Finley football. Trojans already on top of this one. It was seven minutes ago exactly in the quarter. Spartans had the football for three minutes and 35 seconds, but couldn't put any numbers on the board. Now it's up to their defense. You know, we look at that last touchdown that, you know, the Trojans scored, and, you know, as you mentioned, one of the defensive backs for Lima Senior stepped right in front of that, thought he was going to get that. Boy, Griffin Lane just kind of reached over him, and that's hard to do because he's not very tall himself, but just grabbed a hold of that. You know, we were talking last week with some great receptions that I'm wondering anymore if it's their hands or it's the gloves. Yeah. Finley will start on their own 20-yard line after the 33-yard punt. Corkus with a man on his right hip, and he will hand off again. This is Hines. Hines broke loose. Hines with great speed, and he's going to pick up a first down. First down sponsor there is Ultimate Outdoor. He popped that one. Yes. 
you know, Hines is a returning player from last year as well. And, you know, he's, he's, he had a good week last week. 29-yard pickup on first down to the 49-yard line. You know, their running backs are not that big. Both are five foot nine. Hines is 150. Griffin Lane is 170. Griffin Lane on the right hip this time of Cork because he will get this hand off and the Spartans have that one bottled up, probably lost a yard. Take it back, uh, looks like a couple perhaps to the 47. Talk yeah. was by Greer, talk Kurt. about a basketball player who came on last year. Oh boy, did he ever. Yes, yes. You know, Curtis Pollard is the one that went out with an injury and you know, he anchors, or he's right in the middle of that defensive line. But they seem to stuff that one pretty well. This time, Corcus is alone in the backfield. Quick out. Put it out here onto the numbers. Got it right into the hands of number 16, Carter Imke. So Carter Imke with a catch. And that will put the football at the Spartan 46-yard line. It'll be third down. At about five. Corcus looks over the sidelines to get a play call after a look at the defense. Spartans got a one high defensively. You know, you look at Corcus in the backfield, you know, doesn't he look like a very confident player? He really player? does, yes. Sophomore quarterback, three man rush, plenty of time. Now he gets forced out, he's going to tuck it and run. Corcus, first down yardage and more. Quarterback keep took the ball to the left side of the formation. He picks up an ultimate out there, first down. Down to the, it's like to the 37 yard line. 17 yard pickup for a first down. You know, I think if Finley fans were wondering, you know, boy, who's gonna replace uh, Ryan Montgomery when he graduates? Mm. I think they're finding that out a little early. Griffin Lane is in the backfield this time on the left hip of Corcus. Here come the Spartans. Going to throw it deep. And what a catch. Did he catch it? Ball came out loose. And it was broken up. He put it into the hands of Jacob Ragland. He was defended by number 27. That's Jermaine Maxwell, the junior. And after wrestling match, he dropped it when he hit the turf. Yeah, I don't think he had full control of it going down. I think that's what why they called it incomplete. But a good throw. Throw it up sure here. Your receiver go get it. Uh, impressive throw, I think. Well, their receiver is Ragland and also yep. Griffin when uh, Griffin Lane. They, they've really shown them. Not only can they catch the ball, but they can go out and get it under when they're contested. It's Hines in the backfield this time. He will take the handoff, and we're going to get a flag right in the middle of the formation. Jerry, my, my meager brain goes soft on me sometimes, but there was a really good wide receiver slash basketball player here a year ago who played wide receiver and graduated. Was it? Javante Hill. Javante Hill. I was thinking that was the correct name. Thank you. I'm not kidding you. You know, when I say that some of the purest athletes, I mean, just a pure athlete. Saw him play Ottawa Glendorf last year, and they beat the Titans, and he was the man that day for both teams. When Outstanding a, player. When a kid is on ESPN's uh, uh, whatever, top ten or the yep. plays of the day, whatever, in two different sports, and he's a high school kid, that says a lot. It is second and 20 facing Corcus. Back to throw. Out goes. He's got a receiver on the far side of the field. That's Emke. And just a short gain on that completion. What a great open field tackle by Jalen Webster, number two for the Stoke Spartans. Completion from the 47 of the Spartans. Let's see where they put that one down at. Looks like they back to the 47, so no gain on that one. Makes it third and 20 in here. Yeah, Webster plays that uh, corner spot out there and did a nice job in an open field. Corcus, he's got... Sean Hines on his left hip this time, and Spartans have that look like we're coming after you again. Man to man, all over the field. And here they come. Going to throw it deep. And intercepted, it is. INT, Jalen Webster. Perfect position for him wow. on that pass, Jerry. Yes, it was. He played, he played, uh, who was it? Out on, was it, uh, it was Raglan, I think. But yep. boy, played him so well. Stayed home, did everything. 
So our first turnover of the game goes against the Finley Trojans. And the Spartans will take over with 3.34 to go in our opening quarter. And they will do so on their own 21-yard line. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. Only $8 per month. You can watch WSN anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv. It's available on Roku or Apple TV. You know, Mark, you talk so often, you know, I think in sport, you know, regardless of what it is, you know, how you respond from something that, you know, doesn't go well. You know, how you give up that touchdown like they gave up so quick in the game. How do you respond from that? You know, they responded well. Lima Seniors responded well to that. You just put a delay of game on the Spartans. And that will be, make it a first and 15 from the 16-yard line. We never mentioned our officials to do. Our referee is Michael Reinhardt, umpire John Hanna, linesman Mark Roth, line judge is Mike Shetterly, and the back judge is Jeff Brooks. Here's Hall. No, that's Wilson. Wilson up the sideline, first down and more. Boog Wilson in the open field. He's going to turn on the Jets. One guy to beat. And to the end zone he goes. Wow. 84-yard touchdown run, Boog Wilson. Boog just said, thank you for giving yes. an extra five yards after the penalty. But My he, stats just increased. Yes, sir. He got that left side, got a good block, and then he turned on the Jets, and off he went. So let's see what Lima Sr. does on their PAT opportunity today with 317 to go. That drive took all of 17 seconds in one play. Yep, and... Again, you know, that's you respond from that, boy, it just changes your whole emotion as a team. Ball. And the Spartans are going to take a timeout. We just saw a Lee's Famous Recipe chicken touchdown. Lee's Famous Recipe in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe chicken where home style happens here. And we've got a Metzger Financial Services timeout. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Football, WOSN. Well, I'm a senior timeout. Timeout China brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future at 419-225-6067, or you can visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Spartans look like they're going to kick this one as they have brought in uh, Emmanuel Jokin, 5'8 freshman kicker. He was one for one a week ago, trying to ice this one, trying to tie this one up. Hall gets the down and it line drives over. Got it yeah, he did. That will not our score up at seven all. Jerry, you mentioned a moment ago about resiliency. You know, you know you're Lima senior. Um, you know you give up a long touchdown pass right away. You get a penalty. You punt the football. You get back and then you explode. And they have been very resilient here in the opening quarter. And you know, I think I do think that's such a big key. You know. Again, you can talk about analytics and that all you want, but similarly, you've got to play the emotions mm -hmm. of the game. You know, I mean, you don't know what they're going to be. So how you react to that, and I think that's a, a real tribute to coaches and the role they play outside of X's and O's. I think that's why coaches are counselors, coaches are teachers, coaches are coaches. We don't have anybody in the red zone tonight, but our red zone sponsor is Thermal Guard Window and Door, quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your first estimate. Lima Senior to kick off, and Jokin Ruitz, who just made that PAT, will do the kickoff duties again, and once again, Finley's expecting something very short. Yes, there. last time, you know, it went out of bounds or went out right over there almost it was a fair catch about the 30. seven all on our web insurance agency scoreboard we're going to reset the football a little bit 317 to go opening quarter you know finley's also concerned about an onside kick and what timeout Delay a game, Lima Senior. You don't see senior. that too often no, on the kickoff, you do you? not see that very often at all. So that will back it up five yards to do this kickoff opportunity. In fact, I'm wondering when the last time I did see yeah. a delay of game on a kickoff. 
That's big Jerry, I, I've position. been a part of this rivalry. So have you. There's a whole bunch of people on the far side in red and gray. They're now thinking hometown officiating. Yes. Oh, <laughs> you you know? better believe it. Yeah. Just a, a natural reaction yeah, in a rival is. game like this. Yep. Seven all as we go to the kickoff by Lima Sr. And here's the kick. Going to pop it over to the it kicks around. And oh, he, did he get to it? No, it hopped out of bounds. That was almost an yeah. onside kick recovery the way it hopped on the sideline. And I don't think, oh, I don't think either team was looking for that to be an onside kick opportunity. I don't think Lima Senior looked at, hey, we can recover that. And I don't think Finley thought hey, we need to get that. Fortunately, really good it took a bounce out of position yeah. for the Trojans to start this possession. Oh, they're going to make him kick it again. Or not. Nope, they're going to set the ball right at midfield. And I'm curious why it's spotted there. Oh, the penalty. The penalty on it, yes. For kicking it out of bounds. So, back on the field comes Rodney Corcus. And he has with him Sean Hines. A pair of receivers go each way for the Flinders Trojans as they begin possession number three. There's Hines in motion. Quick out to him. He breaks the tackle, and we're going to get a flag right in the middle of all that. So the completion looks like it's going to come back. You know, the Spartans saw that that little bubble screen that they were trying to put. They, they saw that coming. They, they defended it very well. Didn't get the tackle in the backfield, but still defended it extremely well. A little conference among our officials to see how this particular call will go. Start to signal personal yes, foul, and now we're going to have another meeting. You can watch the Three Wise Personal. Men, three wise men oh. podcast. That's going to go against Lima Senior. Is that correct? Yes. Well, now, which way are we going to mark Call it? Call a face mask. Three Wise Men Podcast. Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, Nick Garlock. Each week, break down local football matchups, talk Buckeye football, and discuss sports throughout Ohio. Danny Holbrook is on assignment this week. I'm going to fill in for that. Face mask is the call against Lima Senior. So that tacked onto the completion will take the football all the way to the 29 yard line. You have field position starting at the 50, get a 15 yard penalty. It's pretty, pretty good way to start a drive. So the little swing pass ends up being a big 21 yard gain. When you tack the penalty on with it and we'll have another ultimate outdoor first down. You know, my good friend, Mark Miller, you know, the commentators always say it's an empty backfield. Mark would go, no, it's not. There's a quarterback. That's right. <laughs> Don't disrespect me as a quarterback. So we got a little bit of explanation from our head official, Michael Reinhardt, to the Bill Lawrence and his coaching staff. And now we're going to have another conference to see how this particular call would go. And now it looks like we're ready to play football. Three receivers right, two to the left. But this is one of those things, too, where if you're lying the scene, you just need to stay focused. There's Corcus, here they come. Over the middle pass goes, it's caught. He put the ball right into the hands of Jacob Vitale Ragland, and that is a completion. That will be another ultimate outdoor first down and brings us into the red zone. Brought to you by Thermal Guard Window and Door. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguard.com or call 419-229-4273 for a free estimate. To the six-yard line they go on a 29-yard completion. That pass rush has been very good by that front three of Lima Senior, but it just hasn't phased Riley Corcus. He's able to put a little air under the ball. His receivers run under and go get it. Hines will be to his right this time. And there will be a fake handoff. And trying to go wide is Corcus and nowhere to go as he's brought down. Is that Hall? It is. 
excuse me, Cameron Nix at yes. the six, not at eight. My mistake. I didn't think Hall would be playing in that particular spot at this time, but he good tackle by Nix. That was a great read by Cameron yes, Nix as well. Five yard loss takes it back to the 11 as we're two minutes to go here in the opening quarter. Three receivers left, two to his right. Quick out, caught on the far side. This one went to uh, Jackson Rhodes. You know, the outside linebackers for uh, Lima Senior uh, have done to me, and you know, Deshaun Greer, and plus our middle linebackers, Max and Hardesty, uh, Tavion James, Cameron Nix, they've done a very good job. You know, defensive backs have done fine. It's just that, you know, uh, Trojan receivers have just, you know, gotten in great position and great passes. Just a two-yard pickup this time to the nine, where it will be third down and nine. It started out as a first and goal from the six. Play call coming in. The clock, though, is down at five, and we are going to get a Finley Trojan timeout. Yes. Exactly a minute to go opening quarter. You're watching high school play, play, playoff football. You're watching high school football on WSN. I'll get it yet, Jerry. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Facing a third and nine. Bentley takes their first time out. Each team has used one. Jet sweep this time. Trying to cut back inside and nowhere to go. And Jacob Rick Reglin. Seemed like that was just more to get him in center of the field. For that is correct. And as we were talking about during the break, a long line of very good kickers yes. have gone through Finley High School. Picked yep. up a yard that time to the eight. So we're gonna get a field goal try. This should be Chris Huff, a 5'8 senior. We put the football down right on the 15-yard line. Makes it a 25-yard attempt. Here's the kick. It's up, and it is good. A 25-yard field goal will be accredited to Chris Huff. And that ends a drive that began on midfield. And took three minutes and uh, eight seconds off the clock. A little bit of a moral victory for the Lima Senior Spartan defense on that. You know, with that drive starting in the 50, a big penalty, and still holding them to three. Then we will take a 10 to three lead on our scoreboard today, brought to you by Web Insurance Agency. On the field goal by Huff from 25 yards. Jerry, I saw a Finley field goal kicker. I certainly wish I could remember his name, who also played basketball. And there was a ball passed up the sidelines. He did what a lot of guys do, just tried to kick it out of bounds. He almost went through the wall to far end of the gymnasium. And, <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, we know where your bread's buttered. So I wish I could remember that young man's yes, name. I I, I, it's and, been a while back. But. Yes, um, I, it was either McManus, I believe it was, who uh, ended up kicking at Kentucky. So Finley will kick off here with 25 seconds to go in our opening quarter and a 10-7 lead on a very warm evening. Although the sun's going down, I think it's getting a little better perhaps. Yeah, finally. Outdoors, yeah. Been a tough week for young men to practice. I, I know some schools have gone late in the evening. Some have gone early in the day. Uh, school, of course, has been affected some. Here's our kickoff. This will be done by uh, Grayson Geyser, and it's going to go down to the end zone. Nope, stay out, out in bounds. This is number four, Wash with the bass football. Look out, Wash got up about the 30, bounces off a couple guys, keeps going. Watch all, Khalid Wash got almost to the 40 yard line. What a return. Wow. Young man's listed at 145 pounds, Jerry. He sure ran stronger than 145. Yes, and that wasn't for missed tackles, that was just great running. Spartans will take over on the 40 yard line here in the opening quarter. You know, going into this game, you know, I really looked at it. Finley has always been a big play team. Well, Lima Senior's a big play team, too, and they've shown that. So that just makes for a very, very, and it was, very first quarter has been very entertaining. First quarter has been sponsored by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. Here come the Spartans out with 13 seconds to go in this opening quarter. 
And they're fighting the clock. They're going to fight the play clock on this yes, one. They are. Tanias Hall with just a couple of seconds to go on the play clock. And to get it off, swing pass out. Get a flag. And what's this one going to be? He threw the ball to Wilson on the left side of formation. And let's see what this call is. There's five seconds on the clock. I think he called, did he call the illegal motion? So I'm saying. Illegal motion, correct. We'll go against Lima Senior. And take the football back to their 35-yard line and wipe out what would have been a short game for Wilson and make it first and 15. You know, I'm sure that's one of the things that, you know, Coach Lawrence is going to talk about is, you know, they, they've fought through penalties pretty well. But at the same time, you reduce those penalties and, hey, where would we be, guys? First 12 minutes in the books, it's Finley 10, Lima Senior 7 in this high school rivalry game. Back to the second quarter moment, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Second quarter from the Finley Donnell Stadium. Our quarter sponsor today is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, and we are proud to call this home. Lima Senior, first and 15 to open the quarter. Three receivers right, two left. Hall throws, snaps it over the middle. This is caught. Short gain. A bunch of blue jerseys on here. I'm not sure exactly who made the catch. We'll wait till they unpile. Looks like that might have been number seven, Amari Adi. Addy. And just a short game, back to the original line of scrimmage to the 40, where it'll be second and 10 for Lima Senior. Three left, two right with receivers. Here's Hall, is going to throw it deep. And got a man out there, and hand fighting on the far sideline, but unable to make the catch. Keon Smith, 6'3", 165, senior. That pass was about 42 yards in the air, maybe a little bit longer, about 45 yards in the air. Got a little bit of a different motion. Kind of yes, swings he does. the ball yeah. a little bit. It's very accurate with it, very good. Good arm strength. A little bit different motion than you see from some people. Spartan with third and ten. Yeah, in fact, when he let go, I thought maybe somebody hit his arm. But obviously, how far the ball went, that wasn't the case. Here's Hall to throw, three-man rush. Caught, first down and more, and fighting for more up over midfield to the 45-yard line. That will be an ultimate outdoor first down. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. I don't see a flag, but they've, they're, they're all coming oh. back. Oh, yeah, there is on this side. Yes, there is. Boy, penalties have been a problem for the yes, Spartans today. Have. That will take it back to the 35-yard line. You know, they started this drive with a five-yard penalty, made it first and 15. And so, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed that they're piece by piece getting that back, get a first down, and then this one gets called back. Back to the 35-yard line, so it will go to third and 15 for Lima Senior. Paul's got Duke Wilson with him in the backfield this time. Wilson shifts to his right hip. Hall to throw, quick blitz. Hall's going to roll right and keep it and run. Hall's going to tuck it out of bounds after a short game. And Lima Senior will be forced to punt. Good coverage that time by the defensive backs of Finley. Ball goes to the 36-yard line, so just a yard pickup, and it will be fourth down. Hall's punted once today for 33 yards. Israel Moore is the defensive back on this side corner. Did a great job of coverage. That's what um, that's what uh, Jan Janias Hall was looking at. Deep will be Sean Hines. Here's the punt. That one's going to hit and roll, and roll it does. And right through, did he touch that? He did, and ball's loose. And right away, our back judge hops on it and says Hines is able to get back on it. So the punt will end up down to the 19-yard line where Finley will take over here for their first possession of quarter number two. 
That's a tough fielding, you know, situation when you're that ball's bouncing in front of you and the way it kicked off there was so fast. 45 yard punt that time to go with the 33 yard effort that he had earlier. And here comes Finley out for their possession big on their own 19. This will be the uh, worst field position they had. They had one drive started on their own 20. That's the one that ended up with the Webster interception for Lima Senior. Spartan late getting in the field here. Here's a handoff. This will be to 22. This is Lane. And Lane will get up over the 25. And that will go to the 27 yard line. So a about an eight-yard pickup on first down for Lane. So one heck of a block mm. downfield by Baylor Wilk at that time for the, Spar or for the Trojans. Lane will stay in the backfield this time as this time number 87, Smith switches sides of the formation. Here's Lane again, and he runs into a couple of white jerseys. I'm not sure he's going to get that first down. One of them was... Number 57 in there, and that's Albert Duncan, six foot two ninety. He's about a yard short. That is correct. So a pair of runs will take the football to the uh, to about the 28 yard line. So he needs another yard to get to a first down marker. You know, I said it earlier, but that interior line, defensive line, has really done a good job. Nothing's been easy through that middle. And doing so, missing Curtis Pollard, who was injured early in the right. game. Shotgun formation this time, dancing around with the football, trying to get to the first down marker is Sincere Richardson. Did he get to the first he down? He almost had Richardson in the backfield, but he was able to dodge a few and picked up just enough. He does get a first down. That would be an ultimate outdoor first down to the 30-yard line. Got one more yard than he needed. New set of downs. Back in to play quarterback. We'll be right at Corcos. I think this is a big series for both teams. You know, Lima Senior stops, get a, gets a little momentum. Finley, on the other hand, scores. And they really take some momentum. Sean Hines will be back in the game as a running back as they continue to alternate running backs. Here's a snap. Going to lob it out. Got a man running up the sideline, and it's caught. But no, it's not caught. Out of bounds. Incompletion. Boy, great coverage again. Their quarterbacks have done a good job today running with those 50 wide sure receivers have. on those fly patterns. We'll go to second down. That was Vontae uh, Watkins Daniel defending that. They haven't, they haven't gotten pulled up, you know, suckered up or anything. They stayed right with them. And again, I think the great catches that Finley has made have been great catches. Three right, two left. Quirk is going to roll right. Got a little bit of room. Looks, looks, throws. And going up high to make a catch. Did he catch it? Yes, he did. Jackson Rose went up high to get that one. Stayed in bounds as well. So a completion to number 11. Jackson Rose gives us an ultimate outdoor first down to the 47-yard line. Pick up a 17. You know, once again, it's covered very well. It's a little tough because of the rollout that time where corners had to come up and guard against that run. But Rhodes just makes a great leaping catch. And he did. Rhodes, 6'4", 195. Here's Hines. And they got him in the backfield. This time a little bit of leg strength. Tavion... Jones, James was there. He had nine tackles a week ago. And he gets to the 40, well, back to about the original line of scrimmage. We'll call it a no gain on that one. You know, too, Carl Stokes has moved into that inside position, you know, that nose guard spot, normally at a defensive end. He's done a good job in there, too. Corcus throws over the middle, goes through the hands of Jacob Raglan. High and maybe a little bit slippery, that pass right there. Yeah, it had to be a little bit, yeah. On a humid night. Of course, you got your gloves on, but a lot of humidity. Th third and ten now. Vontae Watkins Daniel is right there again. Yeah. 
Spartans with three down linemen. And here they come. Bring a fourth. A little screen pass. Caught. And brought down from behind. Jaden Jones with a tackle. The sophomore makes another nice play. So it's a completion, but going to be short of the first down and short of midfield. And you know what? What a great job that Lima Sr. has done defending that. That was a huge, big play for them last in the Trojans last week against Central Catholic. And they're able to defend that. You know, they could tell at the moment that rush was, you know, going through a little bit, a little bubble screen. Jackson Rhodes is the punter after eight plays, forced to punt. This is Boog Wilson deep. He is back there along with Khalid Wash. Boog high snap. He snags and almost got a block opportunity that time. Ball's going to head out of bounds. And I think, you know, he affected that quite a bit. Yeah, a little bit of pressure came in from Cameron Nix on the side, and that's going to limit the yardage of that punt. Lima Senior's going to get pretty good field position. With 7.19 to go in our second quarter action. Non-conference matchup. How many years, Jerry, were these guys in the same league? No matter what the league was, back yes. from the Greater Ohio League to, to the track that we had, and I don't know how many other leagues that these two have been in together. Lima Senior will get the ball in the 27. I try to tell people about, you know, the old days when Lima Whoa. Senior was in the Greater Miami Conference, you know, and Finley was in the conference where they played the Lorraines and the mm -hmm. Illyrias and people like that. People, are you kidding me? You know, because people are so spoiled now by playing, you know, the neighbor next door. Lima Senior has a home game next week with Marion Harding. They were in that GOL for a long yes. time with Finley and Lima Senior. Hall, snap throw out. Caught on the far sideline. Watkins Daniel up the sideline. He's going to be spun out of bounds before he could get to the 35-yard line. And John Tummel is a little slow getting up there. and Cannot afford to lose him as a center. I think it was him that was slow getting up. Yeah. Eight-yard pickup, so it'll be second and a couple for Lima Sr. Ball will hand off. Wilson got a little bit of a block from Wash on the outside, and he's going to pick his way up close to midfield and an ultimate outdoor first down. Boy, he turned the Jets on, didn't he, when he got that ball and just, just started going. To the 47-yard line, he goes 12-yard pickup. Lima Cedar does not list a running back in their starting line. Right. Now, what they that. do is they slide Wilson back there when they want to run, as they did right there. Boog Wilson, one of the Spartan team captains. Six foot 170 senior. Hall alone in the backfield this time. Throws it out and made a catch, not sure how, and right in his arms. He's a defensive player, and it was that, was that Lane? Yeah, it was. It was, yeah. Cam Campbell Lane made the tackle, so it's a completion, but for a loss. You know, probably a good thing he caught that because that may have been a lateral pass. Mm-hmm. In a lot of traffic, so what began on the 48 is now back to the 44, and it'll set up second and 14. Empty backfield again, except for the quarterback. Except for the quarterback. Thanks, Mark Miller. Hall to throw, a little screen pass to Wash. Catches, dances, walk near midfield, makes a catch. Here goes Wash up the <laughs> sideline, cuts back. Oh, boy. Kalik Wash, what a catch and run for him on the bubble screen. That will be a first down. And the Spartans are now down to about the, what are we going to put down, the 33, Jerry? Yep, looks 23. Like. What a big run. 23-yard pickup to the Finley 33-yard line with 5.29 to go here in quarter number two. Spartans trying to take a lead. The team has been shut out against these guys two years in a row. To be a, yes. take a lead here would be a great momentum builder for them. Paul looks to the sidelines. This time, plenty of time on the play clock, and like a few times has happened to the Spartans here in the opening half. Hall goes up under center, make sure everybody understands the play call. Hall, quick pass, wash. That time it was defended inside by number 47, and that's Miles Bailey. So that one will fall incomplete. It's a good thing because Wash would have been off to the races on that one because he had a lot of room in front of him. 
Wash listed at 5'3", 145, and he is very elusive and very difficult to bring down. You say, well, he's a little guy. Just put a hit on him. Yeah, yeah well, really. figure out how to do that. Spartans go three receivers to the left of Hall, two to the right. Hall back to throw. Quick pass out. Caught on the sideline. Making a move for the first down. Trying to get in the red zone. I think he got into the red zone on the far side of that completion. That one's caught by Keon Smith. You know, every one of them, Keon Smith in this case, he just kept driving once he got hit. Got an extra two, three yards, but boy, they just don't give up. 14-yard pickup into the red zone goes the Spartans. Here's Hall going for the end zone, and Wilson's down there. He just overthrew him in the end zone. We're in the red zone right now. Thermal Guard Window and Door is our red zone sponsor tonight. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273. Good coverage that time, too, by cornerback Israel Moore. Eighth play of the drive coming up here for the Spartans. I believe every play on this drive has been a pass. Here's Hall. Throws it over the middle and bobbled. Smith said, ah, should have had that one. I think that was one of those where he tried to run before he actually yeah. secured the ball on a pass that was a little bit high. Third down. Scoreboard sponsor today is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. And it's currently 10-7. Finley Spartan trying to change that right here on a third and 10 from the 19. And I believe this is four down territory for the Spartans, too. Paul pulls it down, throws it, and it's picked off. He tried to force something, couldn't find it. Instead, Israel Moore secures the ball, and we get an interception. He did a great job, Jerry, of yes, leading, a lead, a lead in pressure, but then he just lost his pass yep. to the wrong person. You can just kind of tell, you know, okay, I've got through this. I can make a play now. And with 4.21 to go in our opening half, Finley takes over. First Spartan turnover. This will begin on their own 30-yard line. And I believe that was more on the interception. Was it? My uh, mistake. No, it may not have been. Israel Moore? Yeah, I thought it was. I yeah, I think it was. Israel Moore picked that one off. To the 30-yard line with quarterback Riley Corcus. Corcus will run it himself. He's over the 35 to the 40. No, it's not him. That was that shotgun formation by Richardson. He wasn't out of bounds. I was ready to mark him down, Jerry, out of bounds. He stepped up the sidelines, and Richardson from the Wildcat position picks up yardage. Picks up about 21 yardage on that Wildcat. That he did. He gets the football into Spartan territory at the 49-yard line. You know, that's one of the things Coach uh, Lawrence said about having to really adjust on the fly and be focused on, you know, you know what they what formation the Trojans are in. When they've had that wildcat, you know, they they've really had to pay attention to that. Stays in quarterback position. He does. That's going to be a handoff to Lane. Lane will pick up a couple, perhaps, as he gets to the 47-yard line. So there's a two-yard pickup and second and eight. Approaching three minutes to go. Each team has a pair of timeouts remaining here in the opening half. This time, four receivers to the left, one to the right. Richardson stays in at quarterback, and he will run it again. This time off the left side of the formation, and there's a bunch of Spartans there, and a yellow piece of laundry hits the turf. Must have been a very early hole because there was no, there yep. were no Lima senior players right near there when he threw the flag. There was a hold called. So it was second and eight. See what they take the penalty. 
I've been watching that offensive line for Finley. Big number 72, Baylor Wilkin. We've seen a couple of great blocks by him. 6'4", 275 pound offensive tackle. Asking Coach Lawrence what he wants to do and he indicates he wants to take the penalty. And so they will move the football back into Finley territory this time to the 41 yard line. Where it'll be second down. Now it's the 43 yard line. Well. I got an eraser on my pencil, that's okay. <laughs> to the 43 yard line we go. Second down. Cork is back in the game at quarterback. Spartans come with a blitz, the lob pass, it will fall incomplete. Tried to set a screen up, wasn't there. Yeah, they defended the screen pretty well all night long, the Spartans have, and good pressure on the quarterback that time made him just throw it away. So it'll be third down and 18 for Finley. And even there, I look at Riley Corcus, sophomore quarterback. He's under pressure. There's nothing there. He doesn't panic. He just drops it in a spot that he could see where nobody was going to get to him. Two minutes from 45 seconds from halftime. Jerry and I have a little halftime segment while we look towards the second half of action. That'll be brought to you by State Bank. Draw play. This is Hines. Hines dances up over midfield to about the 44 of the Spartans, and now it's decision time. 13-yard pickup to the Spartan 44. We're going to go for it from the 44-yard line. 2:25 to go. Opening half. Finley with a three-point lead. Try to draw them off. They may try to draw them off. Very quickly they come to the line of scrimmage. And we are going to get a Finley timeout. 2.15 to go. We have a Mexico Financial Services timeout. 2.15 before half. You're watching High School Football, WOSN. It is fourth down. And Finley will go into what appears to be punt formation with Jake Jackson Rhodes after the timeout, which was called by Lima Senior. Jerry, thank you for catching that. That Got was it. blocked. He did. Spartans pick it up on the sideline, and they're going to get great field position up the sideline. It goes Tavion James. You know, I thought on the last punt, maybe last two, I think they had two yep. punts, they saw that they could get in there. That was Cameron Nix. He's been close a couple of times. Yes. He got a hand on that one. It was picked up on the, the far sideline, and the Spartans have got it out to the 44-yard line. So after the block punt, although it did cross midfield, Lima Senior is going to pick it up and get good field position. With 2.03 to go, they still have a timeout left, and they are on their own 44-yard line. There was some great excitement on the sideline of Lima Senior with that. You know, when your special teams come up with something like that, that's something, you know, coaches and those special team players get really excited about. Hall in the back side, backfield with Wilson beside him. Here's Wash on a little bubble screen and a handoff. They got a little trick play action going on. This is Wilson up the sideline. How about that, Jerry? How about that? Yeah, a little razzle-dazzle type play from Lima Sr. That gets them a first down on a completion to Wash and then a handoff. It gets the football all the way down to the 32-yard line of the Trojans and a first down brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. You know, I keep saying this, you know, that I'm, I am very impressed with Lima Senior, but what it takes to time that, it mm -hmm. takes so much practice, and then when you're doing it live in a game like this, you know, you don't know who's going to get held up by a block to destroy that timing a little bit. The refs, great focus. Janias Hall to throw, throws it deep over the middle, and misses the receiver out there, but... Good arm strength that time. You know, Jerry, I'm looking at my play sheet, 147 to go. Spartans have the football. If they should score, they get the yes. football first in the second half. They, they got a chance to really build some momentum here. I was talking to somebody last week about, you know, how key scoring on the last possession mm -hmm. of the first half and having in the ball, I mean, it's as good as a turnover, you know, and two possessions in a row like that. Second and 10, Spartans taking some instructions from Coach Lawrence on the sideline with 14 on the play clock. They're still a little slow getting to the line. They're going to 
Paul getting everybody on the same page. But play clock is down to three. And there's a snap just in time. Wash on the inside handoff. Little action from Jet Sweep. Wash cuts it back. He is so dangerous. He's going to be down to about the 21-yard line. Down. And that would be a first down. You might as well get the football in that young man's hand every opportunity you can, Jerry. Yeah, and again, a timing play where you're making that inside yep. handoff like that. Blocking has to be perfect. 90 seconds to go in the half. Spartans are tying a shoe there before they can get to the line of scrimmage. Plenty of time on the play clock. Game clock now approaching 120. Paul will hand off to Wilson. Boog Wilson cuts inside. He will get inside the red zone. Wilson will get down to about the 17-yard line, which will be a four-yard pickup for Lima Senior. We're inside the red zone, brought to you by Thermal Guard Window and Door. Actually going to give it the 19-yard line, my mistake. So picked up a couple, second and eight. Spartans only have one timeout yes. left in the half, and they're taking a lot of time right now. All alone in the backfield. Janias will look, look, fakes, throws, into the end zone it goes. Leaping catch, did he get it? He did. Yep. Catch in the end zone. Wow, going up high to snag that one, Jerry. That's on the far side of the field from us. Is that Smith? Keon Smith in the end zone from 19 yards out. We have seen some incredible personal talented plays, and that's one of them. Spartans go 56 yards, and they are up three pending the PAT opportunity coming up next. What a throw, too. Right to the back of the end zone, and a great catch by Smith. So 39 seconds to go here in the opening half. And on to do the field goal opportunity is Emmanuel Jokin Roots. And snap was bobbled. It's going to get blocked. Yeah, it was offside, I think, by... It looked like it. It's a flag down. Yep, and it did catch that one. So now you got to decide. Yeah. You go for two or not. Yeah. Yep, offense is coming back on, I believe. And I would think rightfully so here. You're going to yeah. be a, what, a yard and a half out with an explosive running back and receivers and quarterback and everything else. So they're going to go for two here. You know, you don't have as much room to work with passing, you know, here in the end zone like that. But, you know, as you did on the open field. But by the same – and with running, they've got somebody in the backfield. So Spartans took a minute 44 to go those 56 yards and to do so in five plays. Here they go for two. Wilson to the left of Hall. Hall's under center. Handoff. Wilson trying to route run everybody to the corner. And what a got great in. block on that Whoa, perimeter. Whoa, how about that? Wilson got a great block and turned on the Jets for the two-point conversion. Spartans now go up 15-10. I think that was Watkins Daniel on the outside. That block, that block made, made the play. Our touchdown sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Spartans with a 15-10 lead. Jerry, 39 seconds to go. You get a block punt. You get a couple of explosive plays, a great touchdown catch, a, two, a penalty, and then a two. The Spartans are on a roll here, finishing up the opening half. Yes, you look at how critical, how key was that block punt. Mm-hmm. Gave the Spartans great field position at their own 44-yard line. They go 56 yards. They do it a minute 44. It was a five-play drive. Touchdown pass from Paul to, to Smith. Keon Smith in the end zone with a wonderful catch. And now Finley's going to get good field position, Jerry. And they have two timeouts remaining, though, because of how the Spartans do and they're their a big kickoff. Play team. Yes, they yeah. are. From the 40-yard line, they will kick off. They almost recovered an onside kick the last time. Here's our kickoff attempt. And this time he kicks it the other way and kicks it out of bounds on that side too. I mean, I would almost say he's trying to kick it out of bounds. Either way, Finley's going to get great field yeah. position with 39 seconds to go and a pair of timeouts. Am I wrong that three of his kickoffs have gone out of That's bounds? That's correct. And it looks like he's lined up to do that. I mean, to me, it defies a little logic, but. 
So once again, yep. we're going to be... So Finley will get the ball at midfield as they did earlier on a possession after a similar type of kickoff by, from Lima Senior. On that one, they ended up with a field goal, and Huff's another example why that might be a, a good place now to put the football down for Finley. And with an open backfield again, you know. Three receivers right, two to the left for Corcus. Lima Senior rushes three, quick out, and stepping out of bounds on the far side of the field. That was Emke caught that one. Good job of using the clock. You know, they, Finley has two timeouts remaining, 34 seconds left. Stepping out of bounds, stops the clock, saves the timeout. So from the 47-yard line was where the football originally began. It's second and two. Corcus is going to run for it this time. He's going to get a first down and skate out of bounds on the far side of the field. That's a good heads-up play from your sophomore. Very heads-up, yep. Gets the first down, gets some yardage, and gets out of bounds. That he does to the 40-yard line. So Finley's picked up 13 yards on a pair of plays and have a first down in Lima Senior 40 with still 28 seconds to go and have still have those two timeouts remaining. Right, have used very little on the clock. Just 11 seconds to get to this point. In motion goes Raglan. Roll this side goes Corcus. Quick pass out, and did he catch it inbounds or not? Yes, he did. He is right on the sideline when he went up to get it, and yeah. yes, he did. I thought one foot was out, but it wasn't. He caught him both Complete inbounds. to Raglan right on the uh, sideline here. And that stepped be, out of bounds. Yes, he did. So the football will be down this time on the 33-yard line. That was a seven-yard pickup. Quick snap pass out. This is caught on the far on this side of the field by Sincere Richardson. Some great heads up play, just you know, dink, dinking the, you know, getting the ball just seven, eight yards a crack and not using any timeouts. Is this a sophomore running the two-minute drill, Jerry? Yes. Because he is doing a really exactly. wonderful job of managing things here. Still 16 seconds to go, and we will get a timeout. Who called it? Well, I'm a senior. We'll call their final timeout of the half. Timeout today brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Finley's been able to keep their two timeouts left, Jerry, yeah. and they're very slowly working themselves at least into field goal range, right. if, if not to put one in the end zone here before the half, and that would be a momentum switcher as two. You know, and the way he kicked that, you know, on the um, on the extra point, you know, he, he's got a foot on him, and the, and the field goal. Well, I'm the senior with a five-point lead and trying to hang on to it here before the half. And Lyman Senior will play the rest of the half without a timeout. Corcus will have two receivers to his right, three to his left. Spartans rush three, drop eight. Corcus steps up. He's going to run it this time and dive forward. He will get down near the 22, and Finley will take one of their two remaining timeouts. You know, once again, if they can hold, if Linus Heat can hold Finley to a field goal, that's that's a little bit of a moral victory there, too. Football got to the 22-yard line. That's a seven-yard pickup. Down uh, with nine seconds to go, and they still have that single timeout remaining. It's a chance for, what, one more play? If you don't get something, maybe a long field goal opportunity. If you pick up something, you still got a chance for a shorter field goal opportunity. Don't actually have to work the sideline if you want to go to the middle of the field, which said that timeout left. And they may try, they may try to go deep, see if they have a little bit of time left, you know. So here the Spartans come back on the field defensively. Looks like they're going to be three receivers to the left of Corcus and two to his right. Spartans are going to Rush one down line. We've got a couple guys on the edge to see if they come also. And they do. they do. Corcus throws it to the end zone. And that ball is out of bounds and would have fallen incomplete. 
And with five seconds to go, let's see what Coach Adams chooses to do. The ball is on the 22-yard line, so we're looking at about a 39-yard field goal. Huff made one from 25 earlier today. With plenty of he room. Did. Yep. So this will be, put it down on about the, yep, we're going to put it down right about the 30-yard line, so it becomes a 40-yard field goal attempt. By Chris Huff, 5'8", 135, senior. Here's the snap, good hold, and the kick is up, and it will be off to the left and short. And the opening half will come to an end. Lima Senior, 15, Finley 10. After the first 24 minutes, Jerry and I will have a halftime show coming up in a moment. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Halftime at Donnell Stadium here in Finley. Lima Senior 15, Finley 10. Halftime adjustment today is brought to you by the State Bank. For all your banking and financial services, visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender. Finley scored first in the game. Griffin Lane scored on a 60-yard touchdown pass. Lima Senior tied it on an 84-yard run by Boog Wilson. Then a 25-yard field goal by Chris Huff made it 10-7 Finley. Lima Seniors had the final points of the opening half on a 19-yard touchdown pass to Keon Smith. Two-point PAT following a penalty. Lima Senior 15, Finley 10. Lima Senior gets the football first here in half number two, Jerry. Yes, and you know, one of the things I think that they really, really need to do is, one, cut down on the penalties. And that's just a self-discipline, and I, you know, it's easier said than done, of course. I don't think it's a real field adjustment. But two at the same time, boy, just... You know, stay on the defensive back or stay like you were and just go up and get it, you know, because there have been some great plays by Finley. Yeah, I think you're right. There's a lot of good athletes on the field. We've seen both quarterbacks have good games, but the wide receivers, the running backs from each team, it's been an offensive half for just being 15-10. Yes, it has been. Okay, so Lima Sr. will get the football first here in the second half. Halftime adjustment has been brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Second half coming up after this. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. We're back at Finley Donnell Stadium. Our third quarter sponsor tonight is Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area. Serving Lima for over 100 years, we are proud to call this home, and we appreciate their sponsorship. Finley will kick off. Lima Senior will get the football first here in half number two. You know, Mark, I think I think this opening possession, I'm not going to say it's going to decide the game at all, but I think it's very big on how both teams come out of this, you know, because, again, we talked about Lima Senior having a chance, you know, to have the ball twice, you know, end of the half, and they scored, and, you know, uh, go into the second half of the ball, but Finley, on the other hand, big for them because they really need to have a stop. With the sun going down, it's down to 86 degrees, Jerry, and the humidity and all that makes it 91 on our heat index right now, and it is still warm out here, but at least the sun has gone down. There is no wind this evening to affect either team. Yes, but on the other hand, it's 101 here in the press box. <laughs> it is, that it is. Here's the opening kickoff. That's going to be a line drive into the end zone. Lima Senior will have to bring the ball out and start on their own 20. Number 81, Grace Geyser. Back to the quarterback position will come number eight, Janias Hall. Janias 5'10", 155, senior. A touchdown pass in the opening half. He's thrown the ball very well and managed the offense very well, I thought, Jerry. Yeah, that last touchdown pass was so impressive, you know, that, you know, right on the money, the catch was great. He's had a very good first half. So Lima Sr., first possession here in quarter number three, takes the ball on their own 20-yard line. Hall wears number eight. He's got two receivers to his right and three to his left. Hall, quick pass out, and that's busted up in a hurry. Wash was out there, and... Uh, the first half that Amari had, he is going to be a marked man here in half well, number two. And I think that started it right there. Yep. Don't give him any open field once he catches the ball. 
Of course, Keon Smith had the great catch in the end zone. Boog Wilson had the touchdown run. He plays wide receiver a good part of the time and swings into the backfield occasionally. He wears number one, washes number four. Fonte Watkins Daniel wears number 11. He is the other wide receiver, along with Amari Adi, who wears number seven. You know, through that first half, I really like how Janias Hall is you know, really in command of that offense. And he is in command right here as he faked the pitch, picked up a first down out to the 31-yard line. There's about five oh, Trojans had to bring him down. Yep, they're marketing him, I think, with an 11-yard gain and giving him the first down. Run for Wash on first down, makes uh, on second down, makes it a first down to the 31-yard line. That's a... Ultimate Outdoor, first down. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. You know, Hall just, you know, really, he just has command of that offense. You know, runs when he needs to run. You know, just really, you can tell he's, he's in command of his offensive line and everybody talking to them right there. Here's Hall again. A little blitz action coming. Quick pass caught. No, it's dropped. He fired that ball into Wash, who was unable to secure it. And Amari with a rare drop with the good hands as he had. And we'll go to second down and 10 from the 32-yard line. And that's been very effective for them, too, just going, you know, with a little five, six, seven-yard pass. But, boy, giving those receivers like Wash a chance to run with it. He is so fast, you got to give him a little bit of cushion or beat you deep. Yes. And that time he just stopped in pattern and... Just wasn't able to hold on to the football. Second down. Here's Hall again with the run, this time off the left side. Hall dancing towards the sidelines where he will get run out of bounds on the far sideline by Israel Moore. Israel had an interception in the opening half. So we've seen a couple of runs by Janias Hall here to open up the second half on two out of four plays. And right now through this first series or two, you know that uh, Finley uh, defensive line has really, really put pressure on him. It'll be third and nine for the Spartans from their own 33-yard line. And they've been extremely effective from, on third down. Here's Hall. Look, going to throw it deep, and he just unloads it and out throws everybody on the far side of the field. And we will go to fourth down from the 33. Hall punted twice in the opening half. One of those punts went for 33 yards. The other went four. I'm looking for my play sheet here, Jerry, 45. So pretty good average for him. Of course, he is the quarterback, so he's always <laughs> dangerous to either run with it or throw it, and uh, maybe not in this situation on the first possession of the second half from your own 33. Here's a punt, almost blocked. Maybe it was blocked. I think it sure it came off his foot funny, didn't it? Yeah, that's, uh, you know, that's something they focused on, you know, in the first half. I mean, again, it's just sheer effort on the part of the defensive front. But, boy, they put a ton of rush on, a really great rush on him every single time, whether he's punting or whether he's at the QB spot. Football went to the 37-yard line. This is a 33-yard punt that time for Hall looked like it got blocked. Actually going to put it down on the 37. And Finley does know what they want to do, Jerry. They get a three and out and get the football back. Yes, exactly right. You know, that's that negated that, you know, big opportunity there, getting the ball back for the second half. Not exactly a three and out. They did have a first down on the drive, but then forced a punt. Cork is hands off. This is Hines, and Hines is going to get a good burst. Boy, credit the offensive line for that little off tackle. And that will pick up, is it? It is a first down to the 46, 40, I guess to the 47-yard line. It got exactly 10. Corcus did a very good job that time of freezing the linebackers, you know, before they could really come up and make that, get that rush or get that push, or push on uh, Hines. Nope. Uh, keeper this time, Richardson. Wildcat type quarterback, he comes in. He's going to get a first down into Spartan territory. Looks like Finley came out with a little determination. We're going to yes. run the football, didn't they? Yes, they did. That will be a first down also. Ultimate outdoor first down. And it gets the ball to the Spartans 42 yard line. 15 yard pickup. 
Richardson, and we got a Spartan down, and while we have that, we're going to take a break. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Officials time out for the injured player. Our timeouts that are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. And, Jerry, that's the second defensive lineman for the Spartans to go down. This time it's Carl Stokes, who's uh, played extremely well tonight. He cramped up big time. Yes, and, you know, he was actually at the defensive end spot. When uh, Curtis Pollard went out, he kind of went to the nose guard spot. So, you know, they're down to some, you know, the defensive line's really going to be tested. Richardson's back in the quarterback position. Put a man in motion, Zimmel. And quick pass out. This is Raglan. It's going to be a short completion to Raglan. He you know, got a yard down to the 41 or so. You know, Mark, we talked about him going down with a cramp and how painful that is. I don't think I miss any opportunity to talk about the athletic trainers that mm -hmm. exist for high school sports, and I'll mention a little bit more about them in a minute. Second and nine. Richardson stays at the quarterback position. Handoff and bouncing it wide this time is Hines. Hines will fight for the first down yard. He's going to be a bit short. But you know, athletic trainers through this heat, and they have been tested so much. We have another player down for Lima Senior. And I don't think he's cramping. Yeah, that we do. That looks like, is that Nix? Yes. Cameron Nix, he's going to make it off under his own power. But uh, he's going to be a little bit gimpy headed towards the sideline. Spartan running a little short on bodies here. Nix has had a great football game. That was a seven-yard pickup. But, Mark, you know, we see the athletic trainers out here. We see team positions here, you know, mm -hmm. generally, too. But, you know, we forget that those athletic trainers are also tomorrow morning at a JV game. They're also at a volleyball game tomorrow. They're there all week long. And the burnout rate right now for trainers is, is alarming. Richardson in quarterback position. That Hines on his left side, Richard to throw. Quick pass out, Immel catches it. Immel's gonna be brought down by Jaden Jones, but not before picking up. Ultimate outdoor first down. Football will be placed down at the 27 yard line. It's a seven yard pickup and a first down. They're keeping him in at quarterback. Hines breaks a tackle in the backfield. Hines has got room. Yeah. Well, got a flag down. It was either a hold. And that's completely away from the play, Jerry. It's all the way over on this side of the field. Let's see what the call is. Thing was, around that right side, I thought there was a hold there. But the flag went up over here. And let's see if this gets called back or not on the penalty. Really nice run, though. And good ball handling by Richardson in the backfield. Yes, it was. Rode him for a long time before he gave him the ball. And the Face oh, mask no, no. Lima Sr. is the call. So that means that. What's interesting is the flag thrown on this side, that official, uh, they may, I don't know if they have headsets on or not. They might. But never went over to discuss the call. Well, let's. See, it was originally signaled face mask Lima Senior. Let's see what the official call is and what the result of the play is. Well, yeah, that would be that would make that a touchdown as a result. It wouldn't penalty would be declined. Well, I'm just looking out on the field while this is taking place. Carl Stokes came back into the game. It is going to be a touchdown. 27-yard run by Hines. Gets him into the end zone, puts his team up 16-15. Now, is this a two-yard, two-point opportunity, Jerry? You're going to kick this one. No, I think they'll kick it. So, Hines scores from 27 yards out. And I was wrong. A Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken touchdown. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Two-point term. This is Richardson. He's going to dive into the end zone. Two-point PAT. 
And Finley will come back here on the first possession of the second half to take an 18-15 lead over Lima Senior. Back in a moment, you're watching High School Football, WOSN. Finley's on the scoreboard first here in the second half. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Webb Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years, with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Finley comes right out, goes 63 yards, six plays. They put two, two minutes and 24 seconds, went off the clock, a two-point PAT, and they've taken a three-point lead. And I've said this several times, but this is a big, big possession. Here's Wash, catch the kickoff right near the end zone. He's going to hand off coming the other way. This is Boog Wilson. Wilson in the middle of the field. He's oh turned the Jets word. on. Look out. Boog Wilson. Got one guy to beat. Wilson for the end zone. He's in. 100-yard touchdown. One My the kickoff. Word. Lima Senior. Well, big possession, but, you know, <laughs> it lasted one play. Wow. Took the ball to the left side of formation, gave it back to Wilson. And Jerry, when that young man turns on the Jets, it is adios. I mean, he's running through that traffic and just turned on the Jets. Boog Wilson, who had an 84-yard touchdown run from scrimmage in the first half, just tacked on a 100-yard touchdown run. I thought he might have caught the ball in the end zone, quite yeah, honestly. I saw, I saw him step out yes. right at the last second. Exactly. He was able to hand the ball off. Now the Spartans will get a PAT opportunity. They're up three, chance to go up four. And the thing was, he stepped out of the end zone knowing very well what they wanted to do on that kickoff return. Kick is up. It is good as it sails through. Lima Sr. with the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken touchdown on the kickoff. They lead 22-18. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. We're back at Donnell Stadium. Jerry, even the Finley sidelines, uh, the stands where we're at, where they're buzzing over that particular touchdown run on the kickoff. Statistician's nightmare. Wash has it for a while, hands it off to Wilson. He just turns on the Jets, skates into the end zone, Spartans up four. Well, if you're not good at math, at least it was easy to do that because he was right on the end line or the goal line. But you know what's interesting is how well timed that was. Yes. I mean, it was just perfectly timed. And boy, all of the defense was on the other side of the field and, and, and couldn't have handed it off at a better time. Smooth. He's right there. Boy, just executed to perfection. And I don't know who their special teams coach is, but kudos to him. So the Finley lead lasted all of 17 seconds and with 7.45 to go, Spartans will kick off. I'm going to be interested to see if he's going to kick this one out of bounds, and then I'm going to figure out why. Shokin roots again, and he kicks it a little farther this time. Actually gets back to about the 32-yard line. And a good run back up to about the 44. So once again, Finley will get good field position. And they find themselves with a four-point deficit. You know, and the totally worthless information on this, I have never seen so many players' helmets come off yes. during play. It has been an issue this evening, hasn't it? It's, and all of them, I think, have been for Finley. I, just interested to, you know, just curious as to why that is. Well, one good thing, if you're a Spartan fan, and that's number 52, is back on the field again, Carl Stokes. And I think you and I experience a, you know, it's a wonder if he can play at all. I wonder how long he can stay out there. Yeah. You get that first cramp, it's hard to, to not continue to cramp up again. You could tell even when he was getting up, it came back again. So here's Richardson back in the game to play quarterback, number 14, quick swing pass out. And good pickup, and yep. yep, got a flag behind the yep. play. I thought we were going to get one right a there. Block in the we? back, yep. I think, on that. You know, it was a little late coming, but it definitely there. So number 18, Sincere Richardson has taken over some quarterback position responsibilities. He's moved the football, so yes. you know why not? Richardson is a uh, five, seven hundred fifty-pound junior. 
you know, I don't think it was a case of Corcus not no, playing I, well. I, I think yeah. he just got a hot hand here. He's going to stay with it. And has done a, you know, a little bit bigger. He's done a good job running the ball. So with the penalty, the ball goes all the way back to, looks like the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 20 for Finley. Handoff again. Sweep on the left side. This is Griffin Lane. He picks up a bunch of yardage. Boy, you know, as small as he is, he's a tough, tough, hard-nosed runner. Listed at 5'9", 170 is Griffin as he gets the ball to the 43-yard line. So he picked up nine of those 20 yards that they needed. Second and 11. Lane will stay in the game, this time on the left hip of Richardson. Richardson to throw, quick snap out. That one's caught. Put the ball to Jace Jackson Rhodes' hands. It'll be a little short of the first down, but still a good completion. And get the football right to midfield. Seven-yard pickup. And a sure tackle that, that time by Jaden Jones. Free safety for Lima Senior. Wrapped his arms, and the receiver was going nowhere. Finley needs about four for a first down from midfield. Hines is in the backfield this time. Richardson keeps it and pushes forward. I think he's a bit short, Jerry. And we will see what kind of decision Coach Adams makes right here. About a yard and a half short, I think. Maybe two yards. Got the ball to the 47 of Lima Senior. So, yes, they are about a yard plus short. They need to get inside the 46-yard line. And I think Coach is going to go for it. Yep, I think they're pretty confident, at least in getting that one yard. Sincere Richardson, the quarterback, he will go off left side, and he does get the first down before he's cut down. Really nice tackle by Jalen Webster, but not before picking up the first down. And I noticed Richardson getting up a little bit. You know, he got him on the ankle there. You could tell it. He limped back a little bit, but he'll be all right. Big number 77 is back, come back in the full football game to play in the middle of that defensive line. And that took Carl Stokes out of, excuse me, not Carl Stokes, yes, Carl Stokes out of the game. That's Ethan Hughes, 5'9", 280 seniors playing nose tackle now. I think Lima Senior's coming on this. Quick pass, that will fall incomplete. From the 43 of the Spartans. And will become second down. Look on the sidelines. There he is. I was looking to find out if number 14, Corcus, was on the sidelines. He's not an injured situation, no. Jerry. I think he just made a, a yeah, choice of just switching quarterbacks. Somebody had a hot hand. Here's a draw play. This is Hines. And Hines will get close to the first down as he gets down around the 35 yard line. Mark it at the 34, so he's going to be about a yard short, and it'll be third down. Back to the line of scrimmage quickly comes the Finley Trojans. I talk about tough runners. He's only 5'6", but, boy, he scat, scats through that really easily. Richardson makes a move and can't get away. So we're back to a fourth down. Yeah, they are. Looks like, is that number 15? It is Deshaun Greer. Deshaun Greer, 6'2", 180. He's a junior. And that run didn't succeed for the Finley Trojans, and they're actually backed up now to the 37, where it's fourth down. They need about four on fourth down this time. You know, and so far, you know, you've always you've seen Richardson run the ball on this, so we'll see. He's going to throw it, quick pass, and it goes right through the hands of number 16. But we're going to get a penalty, I think, yeah, I think on Lima right. Sr. Roughing the pass, I, I think, think you're right. And I think this will yep. probably cause Coach, Coach Lawrence to go berserk. It's a good call. You know, I think there was some contact that was unnecessary. Right. And that will be an ultimate outdoor first down. 
And that would have been a stop, and instead it's not. You're right. I think he accepts the fact that it, it, it was a good call. That will push the football down to the 22-yard line and be a first down. So after what should have been, could have been yeah. a stop. And getting the football back, Finley's drive continues. This will be play number nine of the drive. And good run that time for Griffin Lane. Griffin Lane inside the, the red zone. Our red zone sponsor tonight is Thermal Guard Window and Door. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for your free estimate. That was an eight-yard pickup on first down. I think they get a first down out of this. Yep. And that will be a first down, this time to the 10-yard line. Now I'm looking to see, Jerry, if they can get a first down, and they cannot. So it is first and goal from just inside the 10. Richardson will ride his running back lane, hand it off to him, and he'll get down to the six. Boy, how, how big was that penalty? Yes, sir. That is a fact because that took a turnover. It would have been a possession. Yes. I'm a senior going the other way near midfield and instead puts Finley in a spot where they could score and take the lead again with 2.40 to go here, quarter number three. The other thing, too, that that defense is getting tired because yes, that offense for Finley has been on the field for quite a they've bit. They've been attacking. They, yes. they have run the football and tried to knock the Spartans backwards, and they've attacked offensively as well. Here's another handoff. Hines, Whoa. and he just got blasted. That was a hit. Wonderful tackle. Decaden Taylor was one of the guys in there. Wow, what a hit. Taylor took as much of that, you know. <laughs> Boy, what a hit. That's a yard gain and a very hard yard gain that time for number three. Hines stays in the game. Quick pass in route, and it goes right through the hands of the receiver. And, and they're calling a penalty on We're that. gonna get a flag I on that? I, I didn't s I think the back judge has a call, yeah, and he, he does. does. Yep. We're gonna get a pass interference call on Lima Senior right at the goal line. Tough to see from our angle, yeah, Jerry, when the contact occurred, when the ball got there and yep. all that. In the far corner. Very quick call from the back judge, however. And that will penalty will be a first down now for Finley. Let's see where the ball ends up being spotted. Yep, he's down again with yes, the cramp. Yes, he is. Yep. And when Jerry said he's down again, he's talking about Stokes. Carl had a cramp There's earlier. also a couple penalty flags, and I think it's a sideline warning. Or, well... There's another flag out yeah. there. That might well be the case. we got a timeout. Let's just take a moment yeah. to sort all this out. We'll come back in just a moment. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. So we had a, a series of penalties on this play. First of all, the pass interference call gave it a goal line. Uh, inside the five-yard line for the penalty on the pass interference. Then we had two unsportsmanlike penalties against Lyman Sr., one on the coach, one on a player, and that has moved the football inside the one-yard line. So Richardson's in the football game, still in a quarterback position. He will run for the – and he drops the ball, and the ball's loose. It's rolling around. Big scramble. Big scramble, ball's bouncing around, and Lima Sr. gets it. Wow. Wow. I'll tell you, Mark, have we seen some incredible plays in this game? And I was just going to comment about how, after all of that, you talk about your, your discipline and your focus needs to be there. And you know what? Lima Sr. said, hey, we've had enough. Yes. You know, we're just going to go at them. They had to figure that Richardson was probably going to run it. They spun him around, got the football to, to pop loose. The big scramble to end up with it. Lima Senior ends up with the football right around the 17-yard line. And 
Boy, Jerry, you talk about you know, the change of emotions, what looked like a stop and then a pass interference yes. call and a couple of penalties and then the fumble. The, the emotion of the football game has changed dramatically over the last few minutes. Yeah. How many times have we seen that emotion yeah. change in this game, you know, from the 100-yard run back to this? It tells you all these other things that play a factor in sports that sometimes people, you know, that are bigger than talent. What it does tell me is with 147 to go here in the third quarter, the Spartans have uh, Stokes down again with his recurring yeah. cramp problems. And, and, Jerry, you and I have been around athletics a long time. Once you get that first cramp on a night like to this, you can take all the water you want or Gatorade yeah. or whatever. It's just going to keep coming back. And that's what's happened to this young man tonight. And we really feel bad for him because he oh, can't I compete do. and he wants to. I think anybody that's ever had a cramp like that knows the incredible pain that goes with it. You try to get up. You think you're going to be okay. Get up, and it, happens, it comes right back to you. Let's talk about upcoming schedules for these two teams. Finley will play Southview next week here, Jerry. Now, that becomes an NLL game, correct? Yep. And then they go to Clay, and you tell me Clay's had a real resurgence this year. Clay, Clay really is, you know, great coaching. They have a quarterback that's – um, an Ohio player going to Pitt, um, and uh, big kid, you know, and everything. So, yeah, they're they're really excited. So we'll try to get the Limer senior schedule to you earlier. That was actually Tavion James who went down with the cramp that time, not Stokes. Here's Spartans from their own 17. Hall rolls, rolls. He's going to turn the corner and just try to skate out of bounds. Got rid of it, I think, beforehand, and... Yep. Puts up a second down and 10. Let's do the Lima Senior schedule. They will have Marion Harding at home next week. It used to be a big rival yes. game in that conference for the Lima Senior. And then they will go to Northview before they begin Toledo City Athletic play when they will have Bowser at home for their first game in that conference this year. Of course, they won the conference a year ago, did Lima Senior. Second and 10 for Hall from the 17-yard line. Pass out. That's going to be short. Threw that off his back foot, I think. It ended up being you know, short and hit the dirt as a result of it. This half, a little more pressure on him yeah. from the defensive line from the, the Finley Trojans. Yeah, you can see several times he's had to get rid of that ball a lot quicker. Third and ten. Spartans have had the football for just 12 seconds on those <laughs> two incomplete passes. The way Finley drove the football and manhandled some things with a lot of plays from the line of scrimmage, 13 of them, I think. They want to keep the possession. Here's a pass that'll go out right at the sticks, caught on the far sideline. Is that Wash? On the far side. Yeah. Is that Wash or Wilson? Yes, I think Wash. Okay. So a completion on the far side, that gets a first down. And they no, think it was it, Wilson. It was, it was right. a it was much Wilson. needed first down for Lima Sr. Ultimate outdoor first down. They didn't want to give the football right back to Finley after playing 13 plays Absolutely. on defense. Balls to the 27 on the first down pass and catch. Hall will hand off, and Wilson nowhere to run this time. Might have lost a yard. Great push by that defensive line that time for Finley. I think they've been a lot more active this half they than have they were been. in the opening sure half. Yeah. Look at those guys up front for them. Number 55, Ashton Yeager. See him doing a lot of action right now. Also 27. Number 27 is Keaton Klotz. Those two guys have been very active. Yeager, one of the strong returning players from a year ago. 49 seconds to go third quarter. Hall, quick pass out. Catch out here on this side, trying to get up the sideline is Amari Addy. Oh, Going to be about a yard or two short, I think. And he gets pushed out of bounds at about the 36-yard line. So they are a yard short. Third down. Got out of bounds, so the clock stopped. With 38 seconds to go here in quarter number three. And I have a feeling, Jerry, quarter number four is going to be a very exciting fourth I quarter. So the way too. this game is, uh, has unfolded so far. Here's what. Timeout, Lima Senior. Took a little too long. Yeah, yeah, they were trying to get the play call in a little bit late, and uh, they decided to take a timeout instead. 
The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. And guess what I did last Friday night? I punched the app when we had time of our game, and it didn't work because I hadn't put the new app in. Like the uh, thing I read last week when we were down at St. Mary's, Danny Holbrook and I. And so I, I had to do that this week, put the new app in. I went right to it at halftime like everybody else does yep. around here and check out on the scores. And Lima Senior with their first time out here in quarter number two in the second half. Timeouts today are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. You know, Mark, too, one of the keys we said about going into this game for Lima Senior is to sustain their drives. They keep them yep. alive and, you know, control the ball as much as they can. And, you know, they've done it so far here. So a big third down coming right now. This will be a second, third down on this drive for Lima Senior. They com completed the last one that they were able to pick up a 10-yard pickup and get a first down. This time they need just a yard. And two scores in this half. Finley with a score by Hines and a kickoff return then by Wilson. Finley crowd in the box. Hall's going to go under center and late substitution in. For Lima Senior, that would be number eight. Hall came back in. They're not Hall went under center. Here's a handoff, trying to bounce it wide, and doing so is Wilson. And he will pick up a first down and get himself out of bounds. You know that was designed, I think, to go inside. But when you've got speed like that on the corner, you know you just give him the ball and let him. He saw that cut off in the middle and bounced it outside, and the best play he could have done. But they have so much, so many dangerous people. It's almost like, which one are we going to get the ball to now between Wilson and Addy and Wash? And, uh, you know, Daniels made some plays. Of course, Hall can run with the football as well. A lot of athletes with the football. First down, Spartans, 33 seconds to go. Quarter number three from their own 43-yard line. It's not just straight-ahead speed either. It's that lateral quickness that's so deceiving. Hall, quick pass out. Wash, far side of the field. And they're going to run him out of bounds on the far side of the field by uh, Israel Moore. That's a nice little play on first down. You know, pick up six, seven yards. You know, that pass was a long pass, but right on the money. Wash picks that. Wash catches that and turns it into a six, seven-yard game. To the 48-yard line of Lima Senior. Need about four and a half to get a first down here. Wash went out of bounds, so... 26 seconds to go here in quarter number three. Hall will run it himself this time. Breaks containment, tries to get outside, and not going to get much room this time for Janias Hall. Might get a yard out of it, and that's about it. Nope, lost a yard. Yes, he Stepped did. out before him. Got back to the 47-yard line, so the ninth play of this drive, and now we've got a Finley Trojan down. Same thing. You can tell he's cramping. Well, while they deal with a young man with a cramp on the field, let's take a break. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Finley's number 27, Keegan uh, Klotz has a, a clot, if you want to call it that, Jerry, yes. cramped up in his leg. Jerry, for our young athletes out there, people listening in, preparation for this game doesn't start drinking water at 5 o'clock at no. night. You do this all day long and consuming hydration and getting yourself prepared for the situation. And you think about how far the science of that has come, oh boy, you know, through the years. Third and six, Spartans from their own 47-yard line. They've converted two first downs on third down. That pass is short, caught. Pushing ball forward. I don't know whether they got to the first nope, down stick it, or not. Half a yard short, I think. Wilson with that catch and the 10th play of the drive. Will it be a punt? And will Lima Senior go for it? And I'm thinking they're going to go for it. Oh, the clock's going to end the quarter before that happens. Each team scored a touchdown here in quarter number three. It's 22-18. Lima Seniors, we head to the fourth. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Our fourth quarter tonight is brought to you by Lima Chevrolet Cadillac, the area's premier Chevrolet and Cadillac dealer in the greater Lima area, serving Lima for over 100 years. We are proud to call this home. You've talked about Lima Cedar trying to possess the football, Jerry. Here's another opportunity, yes. fourth and one. 
It's a long one, too. Spartans come in with a full house backfield. They're going to bring in a, another blocking back real quick here to get this in here. That's number 47, J.J. Weber. And pushing it forward. Did they get there? Uh, boy, it's going to be close. That is really going to be close. Finley thinks they stopped him. Lima Sr. says you didn't. And the official agrees with Lima Sr. You know, that, that that's an impressive play for Lima Sr., though, because Finley had almost all 11 up close especially with the formation that Lima Sr. was in. And uh, Lima Sr. able to get that, that so needed one, one and a half yards. First down sponsor is Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. This will be the 11th play of the Lima Sr. drive that began with a 147 on the clock back on their own 17 yard line. Hall, quick pass out. That's a bit high, it's gonna skip out of bounds. Tried to get it to Amari Addy, it goes incomplete. That kind of started from a, I would say a bad snap, pretty hard snap to handle, I think. So we'll go to second and 10. I think this is kind of impressive for Lima Senior Jerry, and I view them as a quick strike team. <laughs> yeah, right. But this will be play 12 of this drive. They've converted, converted two third downs and one fourth down on this drive. Yeah, and I think that's something that, you know, they have worked on significantly of, you know, it, it, when you're not getting that big play, you know, let's keep the drive going. Let's call, let's have good play calls and just get those four, five, six yards. Hall, here comes the blitz, throws it out. Ball's caught out here by Wilson. He's running backwards, got nowhere to go. Good defensive play that time by the Finley Trojans. They had him swarmed about three different guys and knocked him back into Spartan territory. You know, besides some big plays and, the, you know, of course, the, the big turnover by Finley, but, you know, we've said this, like, Finley's defense really is showing some speed right now. They're mm -hmm. showing some, you know, tremendous, you know, getting after the ball. That is a six-yard loss, so it is now third and 16. Facing Janias Hall and his teammates. Finley brings three. Hall's going to air it out deep. He's got a guy open, and he missed him. What a great pass Boy. to Amari Addy. And I think Addy just kind of mistimed his yeah. run. He might have ran into it. That's a hard pass to catch, you yes. know, over the shoulder like that. But, boy, he had him. Over the shoulder it was. He had a guy out there. The pass was really a pretty good pass. He yes. threw that ball a long way because yeah. he threw it from the left hash to the right, almost out of bounds. Big arm. Now Lima Sr. facing fourth and 16 from their own 47-yard line. Well, I'll guarantee you that the coaching staff for Lima Sr. saw something in that because he was open. I mean, he had no coverage on him at all. All to punt. This will be his fourth punt of the night, and that's going to be a pretty good one. See if it gets a good hop for him. It, yeah, does. it does. That's going to bounce inside the 10, and that ball's going to end up all the way down to about the 7 or 8-yard line. Finley will get the football back with 10.40 to go in the quarter. And they will get the football on their own 7-yard line. That was a really good punt, Jerry. Yes, that's about it was. A, about a 50-yard punt. And a great call, too, yeah. rather than try to go for it at midfield. Finley didn't have a receiver back, so when the ball hit on the turf and got a good bounce, puts Finley back all the way on their own seven-yard line. And they're going to bring out, uh, looks like Richardson again, since Richardson will be back at the quarterback position. Yeah, that's interesting, you know, because, again, you know, I, again, I'm not on the coaching staff and wouldn't even say, I'm not second-guessing, it's just that, you know, just a decision, I guess, that because Corcus does not look hurt. It's a handoff inside, trying to bounce it outside, and doing so is Sean Hines. And that was a great cut that time by Hines. Picked up 10 yards on that carry, I think. Hines gets a first down, doesn't he? Yep. Ultimate outdoor first down. Same thing. He saw that gap closed on the inside, bounced it outside. You know, a little bit more off tackle and got, exactly, got a good game. Got exactly 10 to the 17-yard line. He's going to get the football again. This time he's got a big hole. Look out. Hines is going to break one. He's headed 83 yards. Can the Spartans catch him? The answer is going to be no. And Finley is going to take a lead on an 83-yard touchdown run by Sean Hines. And we're going to get a penalty, too, that could be big on the kickoff. Number three, Sonny Hines. Sean Hines 
Broke the line of scrimmage on a run off tackle to the left side, and he was off to the house. One of the Lima senior players, I believe, removed his helmet. I don't know if he threw it or not, but can't do it. That went two plays for the Finley Trojans. That took them all of 39 seconds for that drive. And they went a total of 93 yards. Hines had a couple big runs like that last week uh, at Central Catholic because offensively, um, the Trojans did very well. But boy, he showed his speed not only last week, but showed it here again tonight. And again, that play, that drive took all of, let me see, well, I guess it was 39 seconds if I look at my score sheet accurately. So Finley is up 24-22, and they look like they're going to go for two, Jerry. Right. And Corkus is back, back in the in. quarterback, yes. Under pressure, rolls, rolls, throws to the end zone, and missed his man. Some good pressure from Lima Sr., but what we get is a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken touchdown by the Finley Trojans. Lima, you can find Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Back and forth we go. It's Finley 24, Lima Sr. 22. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Sean Himes breaks an 83-yard touchdown run. Finley's drive was two plays, 93 yards in 39 seconds, and that gives them a lead. And, Jerry, you mentioned a penalty, and this kickoff is going to be from the 45, and oftentimes this is onside kick territory when this happens. It is. They're not lined up as such, but... Yep. So here it is. It's going to be kicked deep, and they're going to kick it out of the back of the end zone, force the Spartans to start on their own 20. Well, you know, on that penalty, you know, uh, you know, a player frustrated. Who isn't, you know, when that happens? But at the same time, that just, again, I talk about that a lot, but just the, you know, the composure you have to keep and how you bounce back from something. And Lima Seniors bounce back from that, that those plays, those big plays, all this game. They need to do it now if they're going to stay in this. Finley with a two-point lead. They have won the last six games in this series. Lima Senior has not won in this series since 2017. Big Spartan game that game. They had 62 yes. points to 38 for Finley. Just a shootout game for the Spartans that night. And, of course, Finley put 38 on the board and still lost. But uh, been a lot of Finley wins since that time, including three shutouts of Lima Senior. Here's Hall, can't find anybody open. Scrambles, throws, and tosses it out of bounds. You know, the pressure by Finley, that front pressure has been so much better. I think you said that earlier, but it's been so much better this half. Another player down? Yes, we do. We have a Spartan on the far side of the field has gone down, and not sure what uh, that particular young man's injury situation is. Special night this week on WOSN, Jerry. Shawnee and Spencerville will play volleyball Saturday night. That will be on the football field. In fact, I saw pictures of a truck coming in, bringing in the special court that they will play on. And that game will then air on Sunday night on WOSN. You know, I think you're going to see a little bit of that in the coming years, you know, with volleyballs and some of the, you know, the sports that are not, as big attended as a football game on a Friday night, you know, going with those special events. I remember we created what we called Friday night football mm -hmm. for soccer, uh, giving it its special night. And I remember we did that, you know, because it, it coincided with band camps ending. Yep. And we really encouraged marching bands to play at those and um, still, still going strong. If you saw the Dubreman and St. Henry volleyball game that was played Thursday night, it aired on uh, WSN on Friday. That looked like a high school boys crowd, Jerry. Yes, it did. Enormous yes, crowd I there for that it. game. Volleyball, of course, is extremely popular uh, in a lot throughout Northwest Ohio, but especially down through the, the uh, Mac area and Shelby yes. County League and through all those types of things. So that was really good to see. That aired uh, Friday night. We'll air again over the weekend a few times. We had a chance to catch that. Looks like the Spartan down is number 11, Vontae Watkins Daniel. 
and uh, see if he gets up in a moment. He's up sitting right now. That's a good sign. You know, you go back to the, the attendance at volleyball. You know, as we look through the years, I mean, our coaching career started so early, you know, and, and everything. But to see how far women's sports have come and for that matter, you know, how, how much that has added to the school environment. And, you know, there was a time when both of us were young coaches that, you know, in fact, you know, I remember the GEA days. Sure. And, you know, but now you look at how good they are. I always said this too. Now, boys' volleyball is coming. But, you know, I always said that the great thing about women's and girls' volleyball, put six guys on the other side, I'll smoke them every time. <laughs> So we get our injured player off the field. Lima Senior facing second and 10. Here's a snap to Hall. Back to throw under some pressure. And he's going to throw the ball. Wow, what Whoa. a catch. Where did he come from? Keon Smith come in and grab the football. I thought it was going to fall incomplete, maybe be intercepted. All of a sudden, he came out of nowhere and made a tremendous catch and run. I mean, caught that on the run. <laughs> and I thought for sure he was going to get sacked. 21-yard pickup. Big pickup. Out to the 41-yard line. That was huge. But still, you notice the pressure from Finley. They did, yeah. It's so much greater this half. I'm sure that front four was up. Center moved the football yeah. that time. And we're going to get a little bit of extracurricular activity on top of that. And let's sort this out a little bit. Definitely a penalty on Lima Senior. False start type situation. Let's see what the rest of this is. Everybody's a little bit hot, Jerry. Everybody's a little bit tired. And things like that happens when you get to that situation. You don't want it to, but it does. Big contested football game, which is now in almost three hours long, two yes. hours, two and a half hours plus on a hot night here in Finley at Donnell Stadium. Officiating crew led by Michael Reinhardt. Oh, so there are two calls on the play, Jerry. One is a delay of game on the Finley defense. I'm curious yeah, I'm, on that one. Exactly. And then a personal foul. On Finley for some extracurricular activity after that particular uh, play was called, the, the uh, dead ball type situation. That will take the football all the way to the 39 yard line of the Finley Trojans. So 20 yards and penalties. I'm, you know, there's got to be something interesting that happened to cause the delay of game on the defense. Well, it looked like the Lima Senior Center moved the football. Yeah. He had a reason for moving it, so that's, that's what that call was about. Here's Hall throwing the ball towards the end zone. Got a guy open, running underneath it, and making a catch right before and he, he got whacked. That. Yeah, yes, mean, he did. Talk about concentration. Is that Wilson with that catch? One, yes, no. it, it, I believe. It is. I can't tell if it's a no, one it's, or a seven because it's the far side of the field. If it's one, it's Wilson. If it's a seven, it's Addy. And he made a it catch. Was, it was Wilson. And got whacked. I'm sure. On that completion, so the football goes all the way down inside the red zone to the seven-yard line. That would be a 34-yard pickup. Our red zone sponsor, that is Thermal Guard. Quality windows and doors from a local company you can trust. Visit thermalguardwindows.com or call 419-229-4273 for a free estimate. Here's a handoff. Wash trying to get around the corner and cannot. Well, and that pass and that catch, though, what what incredible concentration yes. because he knew he was going to get whacked, and he got whacked the second he caught it. Jerry, the ball was in the air for yes. a long time. The defense had a chance to react to it. He took a big hit and still made the catch. That was a three-yard loss for the Spartans back to the 10-yard line. Let alone, how about the pass? Yeah. On the money. So the Spartans... 12 seconds left on the play clock, still in their huddle. And the ball on the 10-yard line. It's first and goal from the 10. Hall takes a snap. Got a little screen action set. Wash, wash into the end zone. 
and you know, Mark, again, I know that I keep repeating this, but, you know, Finley scores a lot of frustration by a couple Lima senior players, but look how quick it turns. Two minutes and three seconds is what it took the Spartans, helped by that big penalty in there. Five plays, Wash ends up with a touchdown catch, and it's 28-24 again. Back and forth we go. Whoever has the football last wins the game. Correct. Jay? Yeah, we're headed in that direction, aren't we? See if the Spartans shift out of this or if they're going to run that. They're going to run a play. A little lob pass that goes to nobody and gets batted down in the end zone. So we had a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken touchdown by Lima Senior. Two-point PAT fails. Lima Senior 28, Finley 24. You're watching high school football on WOSN. To Donnell Stadium we go. Web Insurance Agency is our scoreboard sponsor tonight, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. With 7.58 to go, the Spartans just went 80 yards. They did so in two minutes and 30 seconds, five plays. 10-yard touchdown catch by Wash, and our scoreboard now, Lima Senior 28, and Finley 24. Mark Schein and Jerry Snodgrass here from Donnell Stadium. One of the really good high school stadiums, Jerry. It really is. You know, yep. there's so much history here. You know, thank goodness for the Donnell fa family that started this foundation years ago that um, you know, provides so much for this and a good kickoff this time. Yeah, that ball bounces around until Israel Moore picks it up. Moore's got some room to run, and he's going to run into Wash. But Wash didn't tackle. Uh oh, look out! Are we going to get a kickoff to, to run back for Finley? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Well, each team has now gone to the house on a kickoff. Finley this time on the run by Israel Moore. Seventy yards is the official call from the from the booth upstairs. Is there any question that the fans got their money's worth? You certainly did. Pay your money tonight and enjoy the football game. I know people here had a big choice between going to the Hancock County Fair or this game, and I think this game won out tonight. Thirty to twenty-eight, pending the PAT opportunity. Huff is going to be on and try to kick this one. As that took 16 seconds for Finley to retake the lead. Kick is up. It is good. And with the kick, Finley will go back on top. 31 to 28. Wow. Wow is a really good way to phrase it, Jerry. We're going to come back to the next 742 after this. You're watching high school football WOSN. Lee's from this recipe chicken touchdown for the Finley Trojans. As they go 70 plus yards on a kickoff by Israel Moore. Take the retake the lead at 31-28, thanks to the PAT from Chris Huff. And they will kick off again. Ball's gonna sail towards the end zone. This time it'll go into the hands of looks like Wilson. Wilson already has a touchdown on a kickoff tonight, and he will be brought down right around the 25-yard line when the Spartans will start this drive. Lima Sr. led at halftime, 15-10. Finley went up 18-15. Lima Sr. went up 22-18. Finley went up 24-22. Spartans went up, what was it, 28-24. Uh, yeah. And then Finley... Back 31-28, it's been, can you hold serve here in the second half? And here comes the Spartan offense back on the field at their own 25-yard line. You know who else needs to be in shape this evening? Our officiating crew. Yes, they do. Here's Hall. Hall's going to throw it deep and almost picked off. He just overthrew Addy, just let it out there, let his 
player run underneath and couldn't quite get there. That was 52, 53 yards in the air. You know what, Jerry? Because more, I, I, I'm old, I think we all know that. I appreciate the officiating crew that came out without wearing shorts. Yes. Now, I know it's legal I now. I, I just think you look so much more professional yep. when you do. I don't fault anybody on a hot, humid right. night if you chose to wear your shorts as an official, but I really think I appreciate how it looks yeah. tonight. I, I just think it looks so much more professional. Here's Hall, second and ten. In, in the gun by himself. Here he goes. Hall throws it up and throws it a little bit high on the far side of the field. So back to back incompletions. So we go to third and 10 very quickly. The Spartans have yeah. had the football for about 19 seconds, counting the kickoff. And they go to third and 10 very rapidly. And Coach Lawrence has had some conversations with the official on that side of the field before he got to this play call. I'm wondering if he thought there was some interference that could have taken place. Of course, he's out on the field right now making the call anyway. <laughs> then the crowd on our side of the field, they're trying to get a stop from their defense. Here's Hall, blitz coming. There's that screen pass inside and not gonna get to the first down. Ball's loose. The ball popped loose and Finley's gonna recover on about their own 35 yard line. And I don't think that's a penalty flag that was thrown, although, see another player throw his helmet but he didn't get caught on that one yeah i don't think that's a, i think that's a marker where the ball was fumbled at i think that was hall who in frustration pitched his helmet yeah. and something you cannot do but the good news if you're a finley trojan you just forced a turnover and you've got the football on the lima senior 35 yard line and you already lead by three and after that last score you have a lot of momentum Finley try, would love to go up two scores right here, back onto the field to play the quarterback position, Sincere Richardson. He's been there the second half or majority of the plays in the second half anyway. He's got Hines on his left hip, and he will ride Hines, and Hines is going to be tracked in the backfield, got away from that one, got away from another one. What balance he shows. He's going to get a tough... Tough two yards that time. Yes, takes a six-yard loss and turns it into a uh, one-yard gain, but still negated that six-yard potential loss. They're untangling on the field right now. Let's hope nobody's hurt down there. Hines is going to get up, see if the Spartan does as well. That was a pretty good collision to end that particular play. And we do have a Lima senior yeah. defender down. Let's take a break. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Injured football player is able to get himself off the field, Jalen Webster. So it'll be second and a long eight for Finley from the Spartan 32-yard line. Ball snap low. Richardson makes the first guy miss. He's going to turn something positive into this one. Dances around, gets whacked again, and leaps forward into about the 29-yard line. Big play for the quarterback. Once again. You know, able to turn a, a potential big loss into a, what, about a six-yard, five-yard gain. Good second effort, great second effort. They put the football down at about the 29-yard line. That would give him a five-yard pickup. They need about four, a long four, to get a first down here on third down in what is probably four-down territory. Griffin Lane's in the backfield this time, wearing his number 22. Spartans, did they jump? They did not. Play clock almost down, and Coach Adams has to take a, a timeout. I think Lima Senior thought they were they encroached there. Yeah, Jerry got yeah, off sides, right. and that kind of threw the whole rhythm of the playoff. So Finley will face a third and about four when we return from this Metzger Financial Services timeout. We're going to keep it right here. WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app for your app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app. So make sure you download today and stay up to date on all of the scores. 
5.58 to go here in the fourth quarter. You know, Mark, I, I know there's you know, so many variables in this, but when uh, Webster went down on that last play, and I don't think he's come back in yet, but um, when he went down, and we've seen so many injuries tonight. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of them are cramping, but, you know, you wonder a little bit because the, the number of days that they're allowed now, uh, practice started earlier. Sure. Teams are almost like a midseason form by game one or two. I, you know, you wonder. I mean. Richardson, quick pass out. He found Raglan on the far side of the field. Raglan makes a guy miss him before going out of bounds. They're going to throw a penalty on that. First down. I think they'll lay it out of bounds, don't we? They didn't call it. No? Surprise. You know, now there are added days in the summer that they're, I mean, you really look at it that they are playing football most of the year. You know, Jerry, I, Let's get this one play, and I want to talk about something here in just a moment. First down from the 20. Lane will run inside. Our scorebook, our roster that we were given by Finley, says that the quarterback, number 18, is Sincere Richardson. The PA announcer has called him Landon Eckleberry, who has worn 23 on the roster that we were given. And wow. so my apologies there. Uh, I've been using the, apologies. Uh, yes. the wrong name for the entire evening. I, I, I hesitate to say it's not our fault, but the roster we were getting said his number was yes. 23. And it has actually been 18, according to the PA announcer this evening. So my apologies tonight for, for Landon Ackleberry. From the 17-yard line. Is the ball loose? loose? Lima Senior picked it up. And Lima Senior, did they get the football? They did. On a fumble, Lima Senior will pick up the football, and they have life yet in the Spartans wow. with 5.03 to go in the football game. Landon Eckleberry is a 6'2", 195 freshman, and my apologies for using the wrong name off a roster that we were given from the Finley Trojans. You know, I watched him play last year as an eighth grader, okay. and it was very impressive. He so had a good game this evening. The Lima Senior, though, they're going to take over on their own 19-yard line, trailing by three. And here is Janias Hall. Can he lead a Spartan comeback yet again this evening? Spartans have two timeouts remaining, as does Finley. Hall looks, looks, long time, throws. Pass was low as he tried to squeeze it into Kalig Walsh. Took a long time for that pattern to develop, Jerry, and the Lima Senior offensive line held up pretty good that time. Yes, it did. Well, you got to believe both sides are exhausted out there with that heat, right. the yes. length of the game. In about five minutes, this game will be three hours old as it was 4.57 to go here on this clock. It's approaching 10 o'clock this evening. Number of players that are going down with cramps just, and you know, yes, it's the sun isn't out, but boy, it's still hot. Balls pass, gun to the sidelines, caught on the far side of the field. And that's going to be a first down. And a big first down to keep the drive alive. Keon Smith with that completion. That will be an ultimate outdoor first down for the Spartans. As they get the football just over the 35-yard line, we'll call it the 36, and a first down. Four thirty-nine to go as the clock ticks. Spartans go three wides to the left, two to the right of Janias Hall to throw again. He scrambles this time. He's got, got a lot of room. room. Yes, he does. Hall, and he will finally skate out of bounds. Chased out of bounds over there by number 40, and that's Chase Harris. But not be, I thought he was going to pick up more yards. So that. Harris made a nice play. Still a positive yardage pickup for Lima Seniors. He picks up four to the 40-yard line. Spartans trail by three. After losing this Finley t- team six consecutive times. Quite honestly, none of those six have been close right. games. 
Here's Hall. Play clock winding down. And they just get it off. Quick pass out. Oh, and it's dropped on this side. Or is it a handoff? I mean, a lateral. Wilson dropped that one. That's one of the few mistakes he's made this evening. Finley smelled that out very well, too. They were right there. Trying to get one of their playmakers out in space. And what a playmaker Wilson has yes. been this evening. Wilson caught seven balls last week for 120 and a couple of touchdowns. Also ran a touchdown in. He's had a great night this evening as well. Putting some serious numbers on the board. Here's Lima Sr., though. They're facing a third and six from their own 40-yard line. Hall drops back. Pass, and that one was well defended. Yes. Tried to run the bubble screen, and that time it wasn't there. What's Lima Sr. do on fourth and six from their own 40? Yeah, I think they're going to go for it because I think if they, if they feel if they punt it, they're not going to get it back. Might well be correct. You might see that Finley ground game round run out the last four minutes of this one. So I think the Spartans are going to go for it. See what Coach Lawrence has in his playbook for this one. And I think that last screen pass, I think what broke that up was the, the tremendous defensive rush by Finley. Just threw the timing off completely. Hall's going to look at three receivers to his left, two to his right. Denias Hall. And what happened? Him. Did they move? Yeah, that's going to bring him. Still going to be short. They're going to be about a yard short now. So the penalty will move the ball to the Lima Senior 45, and instead of being fourth and six, it's fourth and one. Play clock recirculates to 25, and Coach Lawrence is going to use this time to talk to his players and get them back out on the field with his play call directly to them. Jerry, do you think any of these players will sleep well tonight? <laughs> oh, my word. The energy expended tonight on this uh, hot night has been uh, outstanding by both teams. Here's Finley. They want to get a stop. Here's Lima Sr. They need another yard. Hall will go under center. Turn, handoff. Wilson bounces it wide. He's got a first down. Same thing they did before. Where that inside was taken away, but they bounced it outside. Wilson pops outside. He gets a ultimate outdoor first down. And the football goes right to the 50-yard line, so he got five on that play. I thought he stopped the clock. I thought he got out of bounds, but apparently not. You are correct. It's now under four. Lima Senior still has two timeouts remaining. Finley has two. Three receivers left, two right for Hall again. Up. And we yep. got a flag. Yep. yep. Is that a pre snap penalty, I believe? Yep. Yes, it was. So Lima Senior moved this time. That'll back them up five to their own 45 yard line. And make it first and 15, 342. Spartans had a 14-play drive that they had to punt on back at the end of quarter number three and the beginning of this quarter. And this will now be play number seven of this drive. And we're going to approach three minutes to go here before long. Here's Hall. Blitz coming. Hall's going to throw it deep. He's got, got a guy him. out there. Did he get him? Oh, oh my just word. off the fingertips of Amari Addy. Or was that Wilson? No, that was Addy, number seven, on and the far he side was of the field. Wide open. That ball was just yes. inches short. Yes. Addy's listed at six foot. If he's six foot and a half inch tall, he catches that one because that was just a shade long. And if you're a Spartan, it's back to first and second down, I think. Well, they backed him up again, Jerry. Another penalty? I missed the call. I did too. So that will back him up again. Five yard or so. Back to the 40 they go. So now it's first and 20 with 321 to go. Lost five yards. Didn't lose it down. Hall looks, throws over the middle. Wilson catches in the middle of the zone and will fall forward inside Finley territory. 
to about the 46-yard line of the Finley Trojans. Big play, got a big chunk of that back. And it did. They picked up 14 on first down, so now it goes to second down, and we're going to get a Finley player down with a cramp. I think that's Israel Moore, who's had a pretty busy night yes. tonight, hasn't he, Jerry? He comes out of the game, I'm sure. Lima Senior's looking from the press box. We're going, we're going to this replacement. I want to thank all of our sponsors this evening. State Bank has sponsored our pregame and our halftime show. The Web Insurance Agency has done our scoreboard this evening. Our quarter sponsor has been Lima Chevrolet Cadillac. First down sponsors Ultimate Outdoor. Our touchdown sponsor tonight has been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Timeout sponsor tonight, Metzger Financial Services, and our red zone sponsor this evening has been Thermal Guard, Window, and Door. And we appreciate all of their sponsors and all they have done for us. Jerry, I get asked every once in a while, hey, can I get my business on? And yes, yes. you can. 419-339-4444, and we will hook you up with one of our sales representatives, and you can get your business on either as a a sponsor for the entire season or just because you want to sponsor your team some night. Do we have a heating and cooling we, uh, in, interest out there? We, Trust me, I'll give you all the publicity you ever want. We, we could use a cooling <laughs> one this evening, couldn't yes, we, we, we could. Jerry? You know, we, we've had, obviously, warm weeks before. Um, we've had warm games where the temperature's been up. I, I'm not sure I've ever been involved in one where it's been this hot for a couple of days with the humidity so high. My, my car thermometer was um, just a couple hours before this game was hovering right around 100 and 101. So, you know, no, no, there, that's obvious why the cramping is taking place, but boy, what a challenging thing for these players. You, you can work and you can hydrate, and you, but there just comes yeah. a point where the body gets, gets used up and has to shut itself down. All right, it's Lima Senior, second, looking at six from, their own, from the Finley 46 yard line. Wilson has gone to the right hip of Hall. And he will get a handoff. Tries to pop the line of scrimmage. There's nothing there. He might have got a yard at most. Big third down. I think the ball was down. They're all saying it was a fumble, but I know the whistle was blown ahead of time. They're going to give Book Wilson about a yard. Put the football down at the 45. 225 to go as... Jerry said a moment ago, Lima Senior does have two timeouts, as does Finley, and they are facing a third and about five right here. Clock Hall has Wilson a, with him again. Yeah, clock is a big deal for both sides right now. Pass out. That's, is that, that a fumble? That's a that fumble. might be a fumble. It, yeah, that's correct. Tried to swing the ball out no, the wash. No, they called that an incomplete pass. Wow, they did, didn't they? Well, whatever. The 10th player on Lima clock. Senior drive will become a fourth down play. Yep. Fourth and five from the Finley 45 yard line. Jerry, this may well be the play of the game for the Lima Senior yep. offense and the Finley defense. Coach has got his special teams players over at the sidelines with him. There's still 15 uh, on the play clock. You think he's gonna run it down and call a timeout? Yeah, How's that look, does not it? Yeah. Clock is stopped, but the play yep. clock's going. This is a huge play for, for Lima Senior. And there is their second timeout. They'll have one remaining. Back in a moment, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Lima Senior Spartans face a fourth and five from the Finley 45-yard line. 2.02 to go in the game. The Spartans trail by three. A huge fourth down play for Lima Senior right here. Hall will be in the backfield. Looks like he's going to be alone. Three receivers to his right, two to his left. Janias Hall takes the snap. Quick look. Has to pull it down. Runs, runs, oh, Hall's going to get word. a first down and more. Hall inside the middle of the field, inside the 30. What a scramble play by Hall. Broken play, tackled five yards behind the line of scrimmage and escapes it and picks up a huge first down. Wow, Hall picks up a first down all the way down to the Finley 28-yard line. I don't know how I got out of that one, Jerry. No, Just magician effort right there. Under 100 seconds to go in this one. 
and broke a couple tackles short of that first down. For a guy who's 5'10", 155, here's Hall. Oh, he dropped that one. Picks it up, throws it deep. It's up in the air, and wow. He just tossed that one up, yes, hoping he somebody did. could make a play on it, and he got away with it. And almost did make almost a play. Almost did. You are correct. Another Finley player down, I believe. Yep, got another cramp on the field. I think Hall, I think he's exhausted, Jerry. Yeah, I, After I that agree. last play, I agree. He, 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 he took a snap that normally he feels very easily. It went off his hands. He picked it up and just hoped to make a play out of it and got a way to live another down. And, 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 you know, again, I think he could make a – he thought he could make a play out so he didn't jump on it. Yep. But even there, it seemed like he was, like, exhausted getting that ball. And you cannot blame him. No. As hard as he has no. played this evening and his teammates have played this evening, We've got another cramp situation on the field for a, a Finley player. And as much as those DBs have run around this yeah. evening back there trying to chase Lima senior wide receivers, and it has just been that type of game. And really, Jerry, you got to kind of wonder, what does that do to next week's practice? Sure does. Yeah. You know, how many yeah. guys are healthy? How hard can you push them next week? And uh, I guess if there's a benefit to this Monday being a holiday, you get a day off from school, so you don't have yeah. to worry about uh, you can you know kind of relax a little bit that day. I have a good friend who's a trainer, Jerry. In fact, a couple of them. I have breakfast with them a couple of times a week. The problem today is conditioning athletes who live in air conditioning. Which, which, you know, we didn't deal with for a long time. The positive is when you go home, you're going to go into a cool yes. environment. So you can recover quicker. But uh, the problem of getting the athlete who lives in air-conditioned homes today and air-conditioned yeah. cars and whatever else and getting them acclimated to heat. And I'm not sure you can acclimate to heat I'm like not, yeah, we had right. this evening, but the, the issue is very difficult. So we got a, it looks like a double cramp situation. I'm not yeah. sure which Trojan is down at this particular point. And you can tell, you can tell he's holding, he's holding his face like, oh my gosh, he's hurt, he's hurting. Well, while they deal with this, let's take another break. You're watching high school football on WOSN. You can see Isaiah Moore gingerly walking off the field as he cramped up. And, and Jerry, that's a, that's a huge problem for Finley because he has been one of their top defensive backs this evening. Yeah, and you know, you just wonder, you know, you're going to go at him, you know, or, yep. or go at, at his replacement. Second and 10, Lima Sr. They're on the 28 yard line of the Finley Trojans trailing by three. Here's Hall. I think he could have used that break we just had. He's going to roll left. He's got room to run. Hall up the sidelines and skates out of bounds right around the 23-yard line. And you know what? I, I mean, th that's what makes him so incredibly dangerous. Dangerous. He's got an arm. He's got great receivers. But boy, when he turns that corner, he, he just laterally lateral movements. They put the football down on the 22-yard line, which would be a six-yard pickup for him. You know, I only saw Lima Sr. play once last year. I don't remember him scrambling as much as he did yeah. tonight. Now, part of it is because he had to in the Correct. second half, but um, he's also done it very, very well. Third and four, Lima Sr. Handoff, Wilson breaks a tackle, falls inside the 20. And he's about a half yard short, I think, maybe a full yard. He had to get to the 18, and we're facing yet another fourth down. Yeah, we're down to a minute left. Now, Wilson has his helmet off. Did he lose his hat? And if so, he would have to set out this play. But the football is on the 19, or at least according to the scoreboard. They need to get to the 18, and the clock continues to run. Lima Sr. has just a single timeout remaining. And we are fourth and one from the 19. They're going to go to that same formation. Wash is in the backfield along with Hall's going to go under center. Handoff up short. Bounces it forward. Did he get to the first yep. down stick or not? They gave it to him. Yep. Oh, no. Timeout first. Oh, uh, Finley time took a timeout using one of their final two remaining timeouts. And they played that plan. I think they may have stopped him. They may have stopped him a little bit short. So we're going to have to do this all over again. As Finley calls a timeout before Lima Sr. could run that particular play. Now, what I don't know, Jerry, and I have a feeling I know, but I don't, 
if, in fact, Wilson was taken out of the game because he, he has to sit in? out a play, I think he has to sit can out. he come back in? He, there's not been a play called, yeah. so I think he has to stay out this I, particular I play. So. Uh, he lost his helmet uh, on that particular play a moment ago, and so that will take one of Lima Sr.'s top playmakers out for this particular down, facing a fourth and one from the Finley 19-yard line. Again, Finley will have Southview next week before they go to Oregon Clay. Lima Senior will have Marion Harding at home before they go to Northview the following weekend. And then last weekend after that, they will have Bowser at home as they open Toledo City Athletic League play as defending champions of that particular league. Once again, this seems a pretty lengthy timeout, but then again, the 25 second clock has not started yet. Remember, we saw a delay a game after a timeout. We did. 10 15. This game's gone on for three hours and 15 minutes of hard fought football here at Donnell Stadium. Coach Lawrence meeting with his guys, defensive coordinator meeting with the Finley guys. Let's see what each one of them comes up with right here. Big night tonight, Jerry. It was a, kind of a senior parent night yes. type thing. They had a big. Uh, uh, ex uh, extravaganza with blow-up toys and, yes, and food courts and yes. everything else this evening. Nate Wyrock and a big thank you to him for you know hosting us tonight. But uh, him and his staff they put on a great thing, and I think you know all with the city of Finley as well as the school, you know for kids for everybody to make it a family event and then get them to the game. Food trucks, you know, bouncy houses. Yep. This has been a very lengthy timeout. Yeah. Certainly exceeds what we typically think of as a 60-second a timeout. And the officials don't seem in any hurry to get no. the teams back on the field either. That, that's kind of a surprise, I would think. In I fact, guess maybe they're exhausted and taking a break too. Well, they sent the Finley players back to their coaching staff. So, You know what? The uh, uh, cart is out on the other side. Uh, oh, I think that right? there was an injury over oh, there. Oh, it is. You are correct. I, I missed that. Thank you, Jerry, for finding that. Apparently somebody's hurt badly enough that they need a cart on the far side of the field. Yeah. Hmm. Well, in that case, we don't know how long this break might take. We're going to take a break ourselves. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. We're back at Donnell Stadium. We've had a very lengthy break while they took a fan, we believe, off on a stretcher. It did not look like a player in a uniform yeah, anyway, Jerry. It was on the far side of the field from us. Our best thoughts and wishes and prayers go to that particular individual. But after that very long delay, Jerry, we've got a fourth and less than a yard for Lima Sr. with the game on the line and 29 seconds left. Yeah, there's so much. How, how, how big is this play? I mean, we've said that on several occasions, but you know, you got fourth down, you've had a stoppage of play for a lengthy period of time. 29 seconds left. One of those situations where you're, you're a coach, you outthink yourself. Yeah. You know, we've had so much time to put this particular play in. Should we do this? Should we yeah, do that? Correct. Should we do it? We got advice from the coaches upstairs, and sometimes you just outthink yourself instead of just running a play you originally wanted to run. Either way, Lima Sr. With the game on the line and 29 seconds to go, the Finley defense trying to get a stop. And Lima Sr. needs less than a yard to continue a drive on what will be play number 14 of this drive. It began back on their own 19-yard line about four and a half minutes ago on game clock time. Here's the Finley crowd coming to life. They want to stop. Tanias Hall will go under center in the wishbone. Hall will turn. He's going to keep oh. it himself. He's going to throw the ball to the end zone, and it is a fight for the ball. Who got it? They're going to call that a completion. Nope. No, they're going to give the football to Finley Trojans on the INT. What a bold call. What a play. The two players went after the football. I, I think what they're really arguing is the joint possession, yep. which is an offensive reception. Now, we've also got a flag down back around the 30, and Isaiah Moore's got his head down like, what happened? So I, I'm not sure. We better let the officials straighten this one out. I followed the play. Did somebody, you know, interfere? Not interfere, but rough the passer? Let, let's just follow this out and see what happened. 
Personal foul. Rushing the passer. Oh, boy. Finley. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. What looked like an interception that would end the game instead will be a penalty against Finley and give Lima Senior new life with 21 seconds to go. Mark, how do you describe this game? <laughs> I thought, as far as the interception, I thought the Finley man had the football, and Lima Senior guy went in and grabbed a hold of it, and I thought that was yeah. why it was going to be called an INT. But instead, Lima Senior, with a 10-yard penalty, will get the ball on the Finley nine-yard line with 21 seconds to go, and the Spartans have a timeout left. You talk about a gutsy play, though. Throw that play <laughs> yes. on that situation. Here's Hall, three receivers to his right, two to the left, and, and who called this timeout? Finley takes their last time out. Would that be correct, Jerry? Yes. Yep. So Finley, with 20 seconds to go, will call their final timeout. Lima Senior will still have a single timeout remaining. And also a first down on their – have we seen everything you can see in this we, particular we really game? Have. And you know what? On that – what was an interception and was not, was not called that, but um, – he was the receiver was covered so well. Yeah. I don't know who the who came up with that, but whoever it was, talked about staying at home because there wasn't anyone else in the defensive backfield but him. Yeah, and uh, on when you assume this has got to be running play, got to yeah. be running yep. play. We got to put yep. eleven guys on the scrimmage yes. line and not let him get a first down, and he's in perfect defensive yes. position. But how about the call from Coach Lawrence? Woo. Whoa! And Hall threw it up in the air. He had a little tie for the football, ruled interception, but then overruled on the penalty. And the way Isaiah Moore was acting, he, he must have been the guilty culprit. I got a feel for him. I was following the football and didn't see yes. the contact on the quarterback. Lima Senior got called for roughing the quarterback earlier today, too. That kept the drive alive. And, well, with everything else that's going on, 20 seconds to go. Spartans on the Trojan nine-yard line. And that first one down. timeout left by Lima Senior is big. Four receivers to the right this time. Hall looks, dances, skates out, throws this in the end zone. Caught! He put the touchdown right into the hands of Amari Addy with 14 seconds to go. From nine yards out, the Spartans go 15 plays. They go 81 yards, and they score with 14 seconds on the clock. Lima Senior 34, Finley 31. I think that first key I mentioned tonight that, that really, you know, Coach Lawrence said is they need to sustain drives. Yep. That that may well end up being the key to this game. They sustained a big drive. Just under five minutes to go in the game when they got the football back on their own 19. Here's the PAT that will make that it kick a is big. That's absolutely right, Jerry, because that takes the field goal out of play right here. 35 for Lima Senior, 31 for Finley. What a football game, Jerry. <laughs> Holy cow. Goodness. What's the ticket cost you now? Eight bucks? Yeah, something. You pay your seven, eight, nine, whatever. But you got your money's worth this evening on this football game. And it's not over yet. No we, dis we, Yeah, no disrespect to harness racing at the fair, but <laughs> harness racing, <laughs> yeah. this game tonight, I, this one out. Well, I watch harness racing when a horse goes into turn three, hits the wall, and explodes. Yes. <laughs> and then that, that, that's when, well, never mind. That's not, that's not a good thing to say, is it? Okay, so let's set the scene here because Finley has already run one back for a touchdown yep. this evening, and they've got 14 seconds left. Lima Senior does not kick the football deep very well, so Finley's probably going to get good field position. The game is still to be decided yet. And, you know, they've had several times where their drives have started on the 50. Yep. So... Because they've kicked the football out of bounds on a kickoff. Yes. Yep. So, I mean, now you're talking about you've got a few plays. You have no timeouts left, but you do have, I mean, if you have an incomplete pass, you know, you've got a couple plays. Well, and, and you know, the, the, the thing with this is, though, the negative for Finley, you have no timeouts left. Right. So let's see how Lima Senior chooses to play this defensively and what Finley does offensively. And when you've got 31 on the board, you've already run one back. And now what do we got? Lon Lima Sr. will take a timeout, their final one, to set up how they want to do their kickoff right here. And you know what, Jerry? I see it too. What? Go ahead. It's week two. Oh, yes. You know, we got eight weeks to go plus the playoffs. Yes, we have. Unbelievable. Uh-huh. 
So Lima Senior will take their final timeout, trying to break a six-game losing streak to their I-75 rival, the Finley Trojans. What a game this has been, though. Absolutely. A game which has now taken three hours and 30 <laughs> minutes to play with uh, this, this touchdowns, the timeouts, the injuries, the cramps, and everything else we've had this evening. You, you know, I, I mean, I, I would, again, rather than kick it out of bounds with no time going off the clock, I, you know, yeah. I know, you know, I know Finley has a, has a run back. They have kicked the ball deep a couple of times this evening, deep meaning in over the 30-yard yeah. line, but they've also kicked it out of bounds about three times. Well, when I see him line up, because he's not... So Lima Sr. trying to hold on here. And here comes the kickoff. There's our official, makes the signal. And it will go towards the sideline and caught on the sideline and then tackled out of bounds. That might well have gone out of bounds, yeah, Jerry, I, I if he hadn't have snagged it yeah. out of the air. Finley will get the football back, though. Plus took three seconds off the clock doing so. So Lima Sr. scores with 14 seconds left in the football game to go up four. And Finley will get the ball on their own. 38-yard line and no timeouts left. Gadget play time? You know, and they're giving them a lot of, I thought they were giving them a lot of time with no timeouts left, you know, on the change of possession here. So here they come. Finley's going to have three wide receivers to the right, two to the left. Free Michael Burry's a quarterback. Are, yeah, free safeties are about 30 yards deep. Here's a snap. Eichelberry, quick look over the middle. Almost picked off. Wow, Tavion James had a hand on it, maybe two hands on it, but with seven seconds left, the ball got away from him and went back to the 38-yard line for second down. You know, the other thing, he doesn't get his hands on that. He had a wide open lane going. They ran a got right down the seam there. Yes. He was open. Here's Eichelberry back in the quarterback position again, the freshman. Three receivers right, two left. Spartans bring three, drop eight into coverage, and he flushes him out of the pocket. Going to throw it deep, got a guy open. A couple of Spartans back there, and it's picked off. On the buzzer as the game goes to zero. Interception, and Lima Sr. comes back to defeat Finley 35-31. Celebrate, Spartans. What an incredible game. You got to hurt for Finley. You got to look at the excitement of Lima Senior. High school football. Absolutely. Finley will drop to 0 and 2 on the season. Lima Senior will go to 2 and 0 on the season. Spartans with a comeback victory, break a six game losing streak to their rival, and a big win for Lima Senior tonight. We want to thank all of our sponsors who brought this game to you. Jacob O'Neill, who's done yeoman's work doing some technical stuff or a camera stuff. He'll take it back to the station, edit it all together. Lima Sr. comes back to defeat Finley 35-31. You've been watching high school football on WOSN.